to hello hello everybody and welcome to another action-packed week of the h3 podcast it is monday it is monday that's right gabe's least favorite day but here we are we all got to do it february 13th welcome everybody we got a great and fun show planned you know it was the super bowl over the weekend sure was i didn't even know that was i like saturday nights when i found out it was the super bowl <laughs> you're not a chiefs fan a big on the on the I chiefs or i didn't even, i barely even know that kansas city exists <laughs> what what state is in it yeah i don't bro i uh, I, I was sleeping at the time <laughs> You know, I, last night we were watching the Super Bowl, a bunch of us on the crew together, and we um, we were toying with the idea of playing hooky today. We were thinking about not coming in. Really? Yeah. Just, just all you not come in? Just ditching. Because the Super Bowl was just so intense? It, yeah, it was so intense. Wait. We were like, we don't want to go work tomorrow. Let's ditch. Okay, that's I'm glad you guys didn't do that. Yeah, we decided we couldn't do, do that to you. But, but maybe, maybe in the future, if there's nobody here, you know what happened. Hmm. Well, I'm glad it's only once a year. Hey, hey who won, actually? I left at halftime. <laughs> I actually don't know. You left at halftime? You didn't watch well, Reed's performance? I, I, right afterwards. Listen, okay. I was with my kids at my parents' house. I was watching. The TV was probably like a good like 50 feet away, small TV. That's how I watched. That's the way to watch, baby. Uh, the Chiefs won. The and Chiefs. A, in a fairly uh, controversial ending. Really? Fact, yes, there was a penalty that uh, pretty much swung the game in their favor. So wow, pretty, it was a close game though. So that it was I mean, very that's close. nice, at least for the people that care. There was some sh there was some shitty calls made. If you, I'm being honest, what was the last minute call that that wait is this an Arrowhead? Oh, that's kind of the Chiefs. Was that a little problematic? <laughs> They are uh, Native American themed, yes. And, uh, <laughs> because, like, Kansas is the whitest motherfuckers on earth. Uh, well, they're not in Kansas. What? Kansas City. Right. Oh, it's. Is Kansas City not in Kansas? Not. Nah, what state is it in? For all the marbles. I don't fucking know or. Oh, is it in Missouri? You got it! Oh, so it's still white ass motherfuckers, too. Yeah, that's still true. We we the Chiefs down here, boy. <laughs> Woo woo! Yeah. Uh, Come on now. It's not as bad as the uh, Redskins, at least. The like, Redskins uh, reskinned. Did they, they 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 reskinned. They're yeah. just like Washington football now. Yeah. They're, they're the Commanders now. Well, they're the Commanders. Yeah, now. they rebranded again to the Commanders. But like, they got an arrowhead. Like, who are you honoring exactly? Like, are you like? It's not really what's the message anything. here. Well, I got to tell you. Uh, I don't know if you caught this, but at one point in the broadcast last night, they were um, going around to you know various sports bars around the world of uh, Chiefs fans that were watching the game. You know how they always do that, and it's like here we are in this place. Yeah. And they were hopping around all these places, and then they went sure. to Dresden, Germany, to wow. pop in in a bar in there. And the Chiefs, because they're the Chiefs, they have this like thing where they do like a tomahawk like chopping motion as like their thing. Oh shit. And so all of a sudden I'm just looking at the screen and it says Dresden, Germany and it's a bunch of people going like this. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. What are they doing in Germany watching goddamn Missouri football? Well, they saw the hand motion and they were like, oh, this is for us. There's a bit of Hitler in everyone. That's true. I think I just put on a, a women's. This thing is not fitting that you're also, elegantly. Your neck is keying out as well. Yeah. So it's a little okay, odd. Let, let me switch. Let me switch shirts. <laughs> I tried picking something without any green in it, so... Okay, it does, and thing. also... Yeah, it's very slight. It's very form-fitting. I will say that. We are women, we are men. Ooh, la la. Look at this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Getting so, this away um, from free. So the Chiefs won, so what was the controversial call? Uh, there was a... It was holding, right, Zach? There was like a, it was something like that, yeah. But it was like third and and almost goal, like they they were uh, close to scoring, and then they threw an incomplete pass, but the refs called holding on and they got a first down off of it, and then right after that they scored. And, oh, yeah. there was also some shitty calls uh, in like 
the first half of like incomplete pass. Like the dude clearly caught it, the Eagle. And it, I don't know. I just, I feel like there might have been a little gobble ghoul. Okay. Little, all right. A little gobble ghoul. Yeah. A little of this. A little gobble ghoul, huh? What do you think with the button up? Should I button it or unbutton it? You like, I'm into the top button lately, but I can't say that I'm crazy about it right now. Like button. Let me, <laughs> let me see. By the way, this is available at teddyfresh.com. It will look better on you than it does on me. I button. guarantee it. I can, button. I can formally guarantee that to you guys right now. Button. This high fashion Thank statement. Thank you, Gary. This high fashion statement piece could be yours at teddyfresh.com. All right. I feel like scarce, like the old scarce oh, meme. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Fuck. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> Nick Clark, thank you for the Red Kingdom. I don't know what the fuck that means. That's the... Uh, uh, oh, is that Chiefs? I thing? believe so, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, congratulations to the Chiefs, and um, <laughs> shout out to the Native Americans as well who are sharing in the honor. Uh, Native Ooh. Americans everywhere are celebrating the victory of the Kansas City Chiefs, my friends. I feel this. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, oh, thank you to Honey, my God. We love Honey. <laughs> love Honey. Yeah, we got so much to talk about today. Um, we got UFOs, we got a huge Joe Rogan scam. Dude, this chemical explosion in Ohio really isn't being talked about. I was listening to The Daily today, expecting to hear about that. They didn't mention it, not even the, like, more, the more... More headlines that you need to know. They didn't even mention it. Yeah, the um, I, I saw that on all the Sunday uh, news shows as well. Um, Why are they not mentioning it? it? Uh, uh, that's a very good question. I mean, it's not like it's a total blackout. Obviously, there are stories about it, but um, for the scale and severity of it, it definitely seems like it's so. Being in in Ohio, there was a train crash or. Something happened with the train that was transporting vinyl chloride, which is like an extremely fucking toxic chemical. Yeah. And an insane amount of it. Just watch this video. I see. I, I don't want to. I'm not ready to go down this rabbit hole, but I'll just show you this. You know what? No, I'm not ready for this rabbit hole. Okay. Toxic. It's just toxic. You got <laughs> that right. Very true. But this, these aren't rainstorms. These are, these are toxic fucking clouds. And I'm no scientist, but I think everybody, I was reading that everybody who basically can even see these clouds is likely uh, a super high risk of getting cancer. Yeah. It's from just being in that close proximity of the fumes. <clears throat> not, it's not good. It's not good, folks. And I mean, haven't the Palestinians been through enough? I, I, my heart goes out. The, the city it people. happened in is called Palestine. Yeah. Um, we saw it. In the clip, the one that you just pulled up, actually, the, the guy in the video who I believe is a resident, pronounce, how did he pronounce it, A.B.? Palestine. Yeah. Pal Palestine? Oh, I, I noticed that. Don't kid yourself, bro. You're in Palestine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just accept it, bro. Gaza is over at the, the Gaza bowling alley. <laughs> the West Bank uh, Union. Gaza bowling alley. <laughs> oh, boy. It's all adding up. <laughs> you know, the che checkpoint in. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, just, just like a Chernobyl level event happening in the Midwest right now, but who cares? Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday, baby. Do you think it is that bad, Chernobyl level? These are. I mean, it's obviously a different, totally different type of disaster, but, um, I don't know. From what I've been reading, I mean, people are saying it, it might be the worst ecological disaster in this country's history. Do you and know, it's uh, not really like getting that much day, coverage. Like uh, in old Russia, mm -hmm. there was that uh, nu <laughs> uh, nuclear uh -huh. plant that blew up. Like, what's the name of that? Chern you know what I'm talking Chernobyl. about, right? Chernobyl. Sh 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 or <laughs> something? No, <laughs> Chernobyl. Chernobyl. That's Chernobyl you're thinking of. Um, okay, let me just watch the damn video then. Does that include like the massive Gulf oil spill? Worse than that? These aren't these aren't storm clouds. This is the fucking shit that they burn off. The fucking shit they burn off 
in East Palestine. This is not fucking storm clouds. So apparently they're trying to burn all the chemicals that leaked, which is like also insane. I mean, I don't know what to do with that shit. <laughs> I, I, I don't know uh, enough about it. Apparently the chemicals itself that's a good or bad call. It's, is so fucking toxic. It's better for them to burn it than let it seep into the ground. Well, from what I understand, too, the, the, it started burning on its own from the derailment. Like, there was a Burn. fire from the train or whatever, and yeah. they were concerned about it hitting the tanks and causing, like, a huge explosion. So the, they made the call to intentionally release it and burn it <clears> that <throat> way. Um, yeah, I mean, I have no idea if that... Is the smart move or too, not. It seems like it's just a lot of bad options, and maybe that is the worst of a bunch of bad options. I'm sorry, the best of yeah. a bunch of bad options. Do we know... Oh, here, let's watch this. Look at it! This is over Darlington. I appreciate that he's sharing this, but I also feel like he needs to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. He's fine. <laughs> Woo wee, look at that weather tonight, boy. This is their fucking success. That ain't no fucking storm cloud. That's the fucking shit from East Palestine. I'm laughing because it's <laughs> so fucked up. That's yeah, what's no, wrong with you. Justifiably yeah. upset. Listening to the dog barking is what's making me like, <clears throat> get the dog out of there. They're about to go hunt down those dogs like Chernobyl. Yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to make it even sadder for you. Yeah, thanks. You know. Devastated. This chemical is vinyl chloride. It's used in the manufacturers of numerous products and buildings and construction, automotive industry, electrical wire. Oh, so it's very versatile. Depended upon heavily by the rubber, paper, and glass people. So it's used quite a lot in a lot of industries. So this shit seems to be going back and forth across country quite a bit. Fucking controlled burn! <laughs> so quiet. Pretty ominous. Yeah, I think everybody's dead. Hot. It's too quiet. Did Ma everyone leave already? Dude, it's like the fucking homestead from episode three of Last of Us. Ain't nobody there. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Good. I wish we could get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Oh. Motherfuckers. You fucking greedy motherfuckers. That's Impatient right. That's right. bitches. Right. You could have fucking waited. You could have fucking called the tanks. That's right. You could have transferred the contents. You didn't have to do this. You did it because of time and money. That's right. Right. So that, that that's exactly why you did what it. I've been hearing, which I, I don't know enough about it to know if this. Let's is wrap or not, it up, boys. Let's set this here on fire. Get on our way. Yeah, that they wanted to get the line open back up as quickly as possible. And that's why they chose to burn it. Um, Listen here now, boy. If that's true. That's I got to be home awful. dinner by 6 p.m. Let's light this here oil on fire and get on our way now. Mm hmm. Yeah, so rest in ashes there. Let's see, and evac so they're evacuating everybody. This was February 3rd. Oh, this is from 10 days ago? Yeah, oh, it happened wow. like two weeks ago, and it's still oh, like, ongoing. Oh, they, they just started burning it? No, no, that, the burning started shortly after the accident, but it's, there's so much of it that I think it's just it's going to take. So that is a, a new video, because I saw that video yesterday. Yeah, the... Uh, the whole situation is super fucked. I don't know. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> we got some drone footage. I work with chemicals and burning them close to the ground is dangerous. They have to be burned out of tall flares. I also think it was police who made the decision. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Goosey. Now listen here, man. I, I'm trained and I'm making the decision. We're going to light this here on fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm the chief of police. It's a sir, this I, is a de-escalation tactic. Sir, I work for the EPA. I am a doctorate in ecology. Now you listen here, you pencil pusher. I'm going to light this here on fire and get on with it. If okay. you do that, 
We will have to evacuate the entire Midwest. Millions of people will die. Now shut your mouth. I'm the sheriff around here. I'll light it on fire, boy. Get me some dinner. Mm hmm. Fire! Yeah, I don't think that's a decision the police should be making. Oh my god, that is a fucking huge train wreck. Yeah, it was a massive train, and apparently, I was reading this morning that um, it was not properly balanced, um, which is what <laughs> can cause this to happen. There's Dude, the level of weight. incompetency is insane. It's beyond incompetency. It's honestly, a lot of it is just negligence, too. It's just people sleep at the wheel um, that are supposed to be regulating this kind of stuff. The policy that... Uh, probably directly led to this happening was one of the main things that the you recall just a few months ago they were uh negotiating contract the rail <coughs> workers unions and our boy biden sleepy joe uh basically forced them to accept a contract well one of the things that they were not able to get was removing this policy that made safety uh Way worse, and then just a few months later, this happened. So um, that's a big game, man. Yeah, yeah, not, so a, the not a good look, Joe. Not a good look. The train unions were saying it's unsafe, and Joe Biden said, "Well, tough it out. You tough guys gotta out. go back to work because we need that vinyl." Come I think on, Joe. Man. I think Joe Biden needs to go there and breathe that air for a week. <laughs> Seriously, oh, got me. Seriously, yeah. He needs to go fucking just filter it through his lungs for a good long time. I'm in Buttigieg. They should both go down there. Smell the roses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. This it's here upsetting. train about, about balance to me. What's in it? Just the most toxic chemical known to man. A big lie. <laughs> hey, you got to make sure that the train is balanced because, you know, could tip over. Now, this ain't about balance to me. You afraid of a little vinyl you, chloride? <laughs> <laughs> I grew up around vinyl. Come on, ain't no problem. Come on, man. <laughs> hurts nobody. It hurts everybody, Joe. And if it's everybody, no, no. Gross economy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Come on here now, Joe Biden. We 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 here sniffing some vinyl chloride here. Nothing like wake you up in the morning. What a stupid son of a bitch. This is a disaster. Oh, Joe. Yeah, disaster is the only word for it. It's awful. It's awful. You gotta love that the unions just, what was it, like a month ago, Dan? How long ago was it? Yeah, it was like November, so They're like, we need ago. better safety conditions. Yeah. And Joe Biden's like, get Joe. back on that train of vinyl chloride. Just make sure it's balanced, like. What a disaster. Look at every fucking car of that bitch. How does a train derail that bad, like in this day and age? Uh, you don't load it correctly, apparently. Jesus uh, that's, Christ, man. That, uh, I guess they said um, like 40% of the weight was on the back third of oh. this train car. And um, not that I'm an expert on these things, but from what I was reading, that apparently is very dangerous because... Dude. If they need to slow down at all, the back cars are so heavy, they slam into the ones in front of them and eject Dude, them. Dude, what the out. fuck? That seems like a so obvious thing to avoid. Yeah, but they're, it's all about time. It's like, we don't have time to rearrange these cars. Just get them on there. Get them going. It'll be fine until it's not. And then this happens. That's disgusting. Yep. I'm seeing they were understaffed, too. That probably had a big we can't afford them union folk running me about $25 an hour. I get me... I got me some of the, some of them undocumented workers do this kind of work here for me for five dollars. Mm-hmm. Under the table, it's good pay. Pick them up outside Home Depot, and I says, just make sure it's balanced, like. Mm-hmm. They good at balancing. They ask me who, this, who is this character? I don't know. The sheriff. He's he's he, 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 he controls a lot. He controls. He's a lot. in Ohio. Yeah, he controls a lot. It's more like Greg Paul in Ohio. As someone who's through Ohio every every summer. Don't be challenging my accent now, Dan. I'll find you placed on a train now. I'm a fucking savage. You gotta Some do it. Some on the floor. train gang. Mm-hmm. GP's out. <laughs> yes, right. 
You ever smell vinyl chloride in the morning there, Diane? <laughs> Something nothing wake you up faster than that, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the crew was alerted by an alarm shortly before the derailment, indicating a mechanical issue. An emergency brake was pulled, but 10 trains still derailed. An evacuation order was put in place in the general area one day after the incident, advising people to relocate to beyond two mile radius. Now, I'm going to need y'all, y'all. We had a slight accident over here now. We're going to need y'all to take a step back. <laughs> and if you can avoid breathing for the time being. <laughs> can you guys back out? <laughs> Dude, that's crazy when you <laughs> fall. There's like this Louisiana plantation owner that for some reason is the, is the sheriff of. Now, listen here, Palestine, folks. Ohio. I tell you, I've seen this before. Nothing to worry about. Just take a few steps back. Now, if you live in a two-mile radius, you're going to go ahead and just set up camp two miles from here. Guys, back. Ah. I don't have a, another house. Well, that, well, you can stay in your house. Just don't breathe. Mm-hmm. That's right. Just close your windows now. It ain't no big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing high levels of vinyl chloride can make someone pass out or die. Woo-wee! No, oh, corpse husband, no, don't breathe. Don't Stop, breathe, corpse. corpse. No, corpse. You know what? He's so emo, he does it because he knows. He's like, yeah. I don't care if I have He's self chloric acid in my lungs. This is inappropriate. This is just That's not just cool. Different. Yeah, it's a little off the rails, you're right. It's just not cool to, to conjure up such a beautiful... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Zach, why haven't you played it yet? Obvious. Because I. Mm. We've already played it. It's back. <laughs> it's so perfect, dude. Why wouldn't you play it? I pulled up the picture. I, I don't. You've been laughing so much. You should just play it. Yeah, just play <laughs> it. Go for it. Who's going to get mad at us for this? Who's going to get mad no at us? For the whole state of Ohio? <laughs> I will. Who cares? I will. I fucking love Cedar. It is kind of it is kind of interesting the s levels of severity that people make fun of you. I think I think the difference with Cutie is that like this is a direct person who I know yeah. who's watching it. All them over here in India, Ohio, dying of suffocating all that kind of business ain't no watching this show, boy. Play the damn song, Zach. Chestnut slurping over toxic fumes. Oh. Cooking chestnuts over vinyl chloride. <laughs> That's why I did it. <laughs> chestnuts roasting over vinyl fluid. Don't you eat those chestnuts or you'll get cancer. Why'd you pull up the same photo? Oh, sorry. I didn't see that you had already shown it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so where were we? Um, <sighs> breathing in high levels of, of vinyl chloride can make someone pass out or die if they don't get fresh air and has been linked to an increased risk of cancer in the liver, brain, lungs, and blood. Yeah, just cancer of the liver, brain, lungs, and blood. <laughs> that doesn't, that sounds survivable. That, I mean, there's at least a thousand different kind of cancers out there. That's only four <laughs> of your organs. Liver, brain, lungs, and blood. Ain't no problem that with that. <laughs> Chances are still pretty good. You'll be fine. Just take a couple steps back. That's all now. I hope you get ass cancer and die, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I'll cut your throat. I'll come to your house and kill your children. Oh, <laughs> doctor, Phil. This is Chill, These Phil. people have been through enough, you animal. Stop. Uh, why, why specify even specify where you get it? Just yeah, all your major. It's not good. Just yeah. your body. Just your yeah, liver, your, your brain, your lungs, and your blood. Ugly. <laughs> you are disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Doctor Phil, chill the fuck out. What? What is he on today? Officials warned the controlled burn would send a uh, phosgene and hydrogen chloride into the air. Phosgene is a highly toxic, colorless gas with a strong odor that can cause vomiting and breathing trouble, and was used as a weapon in World War I. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that making you laugh? It's so insane. It's fucking insane. Yeah, no, this it's... Is, this it, is nuts. Like, yeah. like yeah. the incompetency, the negligence, it's fucking... It's so disgusting. It's gross. 
It's gross. And I'll tell you, I think uh, the whole fucking... Yeah, it's too con conspiratorial on you, but the whole uh, obsession with UFOs the last week, I, I, there's no such thing as a coincidence. That's all I'm saying. Interesting. So look, look at this. Look at the jingly shiny over here. Don't pay attention. No, no, no. Cheers. UFOs. No. <laughs> Listen to this. They say. Phosgene is considered safe at 0.1 parts per million during an eight hour exposure or 0.2 parts per million for a 15 minute exposure. So I wonder what parts per, they're like, what, how many parts per million is it? 500,000. 1.3 million dollars. <laughs> it's about Yeah, but when it's just a, a giant pool of it in a <laughs> ditch on fire, I feel hey, like you're going to hit that uh, parts per million pretty hey, quickly. Hey, Sheriff. That says it's got to be 1.1 1. 1 part per million. What are we at now? Oh, let me check here now. Oh, about, about 750,000 per million. No problem. Hey, uh, I tell you, we've been trying to cut down on crime. Now we got this phosgene toxic gas going through the streets. Ain't nobody committing no crime right now, but I tell you, like World War I, man, I remember like it was yesterday. You just dug up a video of a guy talking about um, all that stuff with the, uh, called the Precision Scheduled Railroad, which is the system that uh, the rail workers were trying rail to workers. get rid of and... Uh, failed too. An Ohio I watcher no sent own. this in. Thank no. you, Sierra. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I love Sierra. everyone who knows shit about this. I love you. Thank you for sharing. We got to bring this story to the world, dude, because nobody's talking about it. And H3 podcast is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's not like it's a total blackout, obviously. Like if you look, there's plenty of news and I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's the lead story in Ohio. Um, I, I'd have to imagine, but as far as, um, you know, what's dominating the headlines on all the networks and everything for the past week, uh, very little talk of this. A whole lot of talk about uh, UFOs and weather balloons and stuff. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, have we ruled out that it was a weather balloon that derailed this here train? Mm, good question. Now, I'm no conspiracy theorist, but I do believe that... Obama was an alien, but I will say this: you gotta have the, them ribs. We gotta have them ribs and pussy too, <laughs> dude. What the fuck, dude? Nobody does sound bites like us. Nobody. Nobody. Who the fuck got Obama saying "gotta have them ribs" and pussy too? <laughs> All right, let's watch this shit. Rail workers warned us about disaster like this. I heard firsthand months ago about the corporate practice of precision scheduled railroading. Precision scheduled railroading is uh, shorter staff, longer hours, Seven weeks longer before, trains, yeah. less safety, less maintenance. Do I have all that right? Oh, you got it all right. I okay. mean, I, I wanted... There we go. We save ourselves $10,000 a month. Now, the federal government going to spend about $10 trillion, but it ain't come out of my pocket, boy. Mm-hmm. Save me a little bit of cheddar. That's right. How much money it costs to clean up an ecological disaster on this? Oh, about $10 trillion. It's a good payoff. The DRL message you're seeing on national TV. This person said, I'm in Columbus, Ohio. Nobody's talking about it. Are you serious? Yeah. That's so weird. It's one of a few things. It's lack of maintenance on the track, or they've cut the track gates too short, and they can't get out to fix it, or they've cut the carmen's, which is the union that works on the rail cars. So uh, we have one derailment here in northeast Ohio where a wheel flange was very thin. It picked a switch and derailed the entire train. Luckily, it was full of candle wax and not something highly volatile. Rail workers tried to strike over this stuff, but were stopped by Congress. A few weeks later, and here we are. Several Norfolk Southern cars of toxic, highly volatile chemicals exploded fantastically in the tiny town of East Palestine, Ohio, 20 miles from where I grew up. So I met Clyde in East Palestine to ask him about it. It looks like a faulty bearing, uh, 
cause a catastrophic derailment. These railroads are turning profits hand over fist. They've cut their workforce to bare bones, and now they're paying the price for it because the wheels are falling off the train, basically. Carmen were inspecting cars about three minutes per car. That's always been the industry standard. Now it's 90 seconds per car. Is that because of PSR? Yes, it's a rush job right now. And these guys are under pressure. I mean, they're working men and women. And, you know, if they don't hurry up and get this car done, they're going to be fired. Great points. So I went to a press conference with Norfolk Southern and Ohio Governor Mike DeWine to ask them about this. What could precision scheduled railroad have to do with the axle failure that caused the derailment? Who is this guy? He rocks. Like he's like <laughs> actually going and like doing no, this real guy's journalism. Real, more perfect union is his TikTok. Okay. Shout out. This guy this guy here is in charge of the derailment. This <laughs> Why does he look exactly like I thought he would? This man here, you know what? This man here breathed a little too much vinyl chloride. Mm. He was fully coherent, very smart fella. Went down to the train, came back looking like this. Mm, he looked he like a he got a frown. He looks like he got a sling blade. <laughs> Some people call it banana blade. I call it sling blade. <laughs> he go, what? What would you say? You know, sling blade. You know, give me some of sling blade. French fried potato. Oh yeah, boy. Mm, <laughs> talking my language now. Yeah. Yeah. He he definitely definitely done that. How he, do we he get on the billy ball of, I tell you what, man. <laughs> mm. You ever put some vinyl chloride over a a, a, a steamed potato? Mm. Oh boy. French fried potato. Mm, yes, done sir. That. Mm, just the boy. Mm. I tell you what, man. <laughs> might give me cancer, but boy, that tastes good. Mm. Blade. That's right. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm waiting for it to start raining in chloride vinyl. Then I'm just going to come out, put my lit, my tongue out, man. It tastes like sugar. Mm-hmm. We said uh, more perfect union was created by former Bernie people, uh, Bernie 2020 people. It's a really great source for labor news. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll uh, give him a follow because the fact he actually went there and directly asked the... Uh, the Norfolk people. This is actually pretty, the best recording great. I've seen on yeah. the topic. Genuinely. Oh, reporters were being arrested reporting on it? Is that... There was a story of one person, uh, a reporter being arrested for... Uh, it just sounded Little like... Little K, thank you. It sounded like cops just being... being cops. <laughs> hey, now, they're like, who decided to set this fire? Hey, you better come back here now. You're under arrest. <laughs> was it you? Hey, come on, man. <laughs> I'm the sheriff around Fire. these parts. That ain't my call. You're under arrest. I have no idea if it's a mechanical issue. Well, the guy at the podium is the governor of Ohio, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. But don't ever say looks don't factor in. To a <laughs> At least I think. Somebody in the chat said that. This is the same guy, right? Oh, he looks more normal there. It's him. You can tell by the glasses. It looks like he just pulled him off the street and put a suit on him. For Christ's sake, <laughs> he's a he's a body double. He's yeah, like it's a, a body he's double. A Saddam body. It was Saddam style body double. Yeah. Well, he's like hell no. Ain't no going to breed that goddamn chlorine's bullshit. I'm gonna send the body <laughs> double to wine to ask them about this. What could precision scheduled railroad have to do with the axle failure that caused the derailment? I have no idea if it's a mechanical issue. Rail, precision scheduled railroading is a management process. Not a great answer, and that's probably because Norfolk Southern let a worker take the fall, rather than a single corporate executive showing up in the town that they polluted to be held accountable. You see, Wall Street owns Norfolk Southern. 74% of shares are owned by a who's who of infamous hedge funds. And this is the business model that they demand, profit at any cost. And disaster like this is simply a cost of doing business. They cut everything, make all the money, and pay off disasters in tiny flyover towns from the profit. But instead of answering for any of that, they're betting that the corporate media, under the same pressure for extreme profit as railroads, will only ask questions about how much cancer people will get and not why this preventable disaster happened. So fucking gross. So gross, dude. Uh, it's gross. Hydrogen chloride is a colorless, yellowish gas with a strong odor. 
it'll make your eyes, uh, human effect on skin, eye, and nose is irritation and throat. That's a different one, I guess. Yeah, when it burns, uh, this chemical, it releases like a, a bunch of different gases and stuff, so. Um, let's see, professor of chemistry at Carnegie University said this, vinyl chloride is bad. <laughs> <laughs> there is a comma. There is and a I've comma. always oh. said that. <laughs> it says vinyl chloride is bad. Dioxins are worse as carcinogens, and that comes from burning. I love that. Well, the worst thing about the worst thing you could do is set it on fire. <laughs> Let's set it on fire. Wrap it up. Dioxins is a group of persistent environmental pollutants that last in the ground and body for years. And have been one of the major environmental problems and controversies in the United States. Roughly 5,000 residents were forced to evacuate. Farmers and animal owners have reported their animals are falling ill very quickly. Out of nowhere, he just started coughing really hard, just shut down, and he had liquid diarrhea and just went very fast. That's encouraging. That's very terrifying. <laughs> that was a man talking about his foxes. His foxes? His foxes? Oh. His fox. Bad. People domesticate foxes? I'm just in limited amounts. Probably a skin farmer. Or <laughs> maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> maybe that. What you talk about, fox? That's that was my cute. wife. That's less cute. <laughs> Talking about my wife, for God's sake. She had liquid diarrhea and died right there. It's not funny. No. It's just the way it's reported. You assume it's a fox, but what if he's talking about, like, his wife? There's shit all over the floor. <laughs> oh, no. Don't show me this. Is this the fox that died? Oh, we're not. Come on. What are, we, what are we doing here? I don't know if he died. This is him talking about one of his six foxes, though. Let's see it. Let's see the, the fox. He was very not sad and not I well. shouldn't have said that. What'd his you name's say, Taylor Holzer. He said his foxes have been falling ill since the derailment. Dude, fuck. We gotta get everybody out of there, man. Yeah, I said he, he's probably definitely not a farmer. I was making... Or no, I he's just not a farmer. Them. Yeah, probably not. Generally, farmers just stay pets. away from foxes, I thought. Yo, we gotta get... What do we do? How can we help these people? Scatter reports of dead animals well outside the original evacuation zone continue to stoke fear. The Rail Workers Union was just in a contract battle. We talked about that. So there's that. Um, that what do what we a do about it? What a fucking nightmare, eh? It's a nightmare. And I... Yeah. <laughs> what do we do about it? No fucking clue. It's like... Nationalize the railroads. They, they cut everything, and then when something happens, people donate and help and shit, and they just, like... Get on by. Yeah, the thing is, is like this is this is so far beyond like oh let's let's donate and fundraise because this is they probably poison that whole area for the next like 150 years. You know what I mean? Like this is not a uh, a quick thing. But those people need to get the fuck out of there. I mean, yeah, I mean I, I don't. Some people can't. I don't know if there's That's even... That's the problem. It's like, what do you... I don't even know if there is a place for us to donate to or if anything's even been set up at this point. Speaking of, you know, this whole bureaucratic... Uh, I don't know if this is bureaucratic, but listen to this. I was listening to a story this morning. So the Navy wasted. They wanted to make this ship. Do you hear know about this? It's supposed to be the, the most... The Littoral? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do know about that. The Littoral battleship. It was meant to be the most cutting edge. They built it to fight terrorists. They started building it after 9-11. Terrorist boats. And they just started launching them, and it turns out they're fucking so, so, so bad. They leak, the gears break, the engine shuts down. These things cost $500 million a piece. Oh, yeah. That seems... Low. And they made, yeah, they, they, they said it was a quote-unquote deal. It's a steal. So they, each one of these costs 500 million. 500! <laughs> and there's, and there's uh, 
they made like, you know, 15 of them or something. And so the Navy was like, listen, I, we know we, we've wasted all this money on this shit, but I think it's time to cut our losses. We're going to cut our fucking losses. These ships are not even, they're already uh, obsolete and we have no use for them. So they've wasted like $10 billion on this program. And then in Florida, there was this um, shipyard that had a billion dollar contract to maintain these ships. Mm -hmm. And when the Navy said, we're going to cancel the program, the shipyard lobbied Congress and convinced enough Republican congressmen to block the Navy from canceling it so they could keep repairing them. Mm -hmm. Do you understand how fucking insane this is? The Navy's like, we don't want to use these anymore. They don't work. Yeah. And then the and then the Congress is like, well, no, you got to keep them in service so that we can pay the people to repair it. What the fuck are you, what are we talking about? It doesn't work. <laughs> of course you're going to need to repair it. We create lots of jobs, though. Probably not that many. It, it's insane. It's insane. This is a lot of fucking money. Yeah. That's all of our tax money. Money. We got to repair them, mate. The Navy, even the Navy was like, literally, these ships are hurting our Navy. Who They're wants me to take their money? Because they're just sapping resources. They're sapping they resources. They'd be utterly useless in modern warfare. Right. Who wants to lose some money? No, today? sir. That'd be a great waste. That's what the Congress guy said. You could find out his name. He's some fucking piece of shit from Florida Republican congressman. Convinced enough Republicans. We need these ships. Who's going to repair them? If we decommission them, who's going to repair them? It ain't right. That's all right. We got to, if we ain't repairing the $5 billion ship, then what's the point of even building the ship to begin with? I built the ship so that we could repair it. If we ain't repairing the ship, what's the point of making them? I mean, that's a good question. Now it's this year costed a mere $10 billion. Money. This whole city in Florida depend on us repairing them ships. You understand what I'm trying to say? Now, it ain't about to go into battle. That thing don't barely goddamn float. Which is why it needs so many repairs. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think y'all should keep launching them so we got more to repair. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking incompetent and nonsensical at every fucking level. The High resolution? <laughs> Air strikes. <laughs> yeah, let's just blow it up, man. These Modern people's lives again? are so disturbed for absolutely no reason. Like, this didn't have to happen <laughs> at well, all. Well, then, so my point, I guess, that connects it is, like, a billion dollars wasting on repairing boats that the Navy doesn't want and that already that don't fucking float already. Literally. Could 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 save all these people right now. Maybe goddamn, maybe if we could just get some of them boats to repair down to Palestine, we could bring all kinds of money into that there city. Y'all know how to repair a boat? Ah, eh, don't matter. The thing don't work anyway. Just hit it with a wrench. Call it a day. Mm-hmm. Float our hit whole it with economy. A wrench. That's right. Fuck That's what you. I do. Show up at work. <laughs> oh, dude, our country is insanely fucking stupid, dude. It's so stupid. It's disgusting. Makes me want to fucking vomit. I feel like I'm breathing vinyl chloride right now. I want to vomit so much. This is America. This is our land. I don't understand why Palestine's so poor. Don't they got no boats to repair? 
President Trump, if you see this, please save us. Congress is handing out money to repair boats. You ain't got no boats to repair, boy? I don't even see our American flag anymore. I could truck one into you. Oh, you're landlocked? Let me truck one in. You could start repairing. Love that. All right, let's thank our sponsor, then we can move on from this. But we'll follow it. I'm going to follow this story. Yeah, I'm sure we'll talk about it on Thursday. Thank you to Honey, man. Which tastes great with or without. (coughs) Tastes great on pizza. Chloride. What is it? Vinyl chloride. Tie any of that into the ad, please. Well, yeah, right, right. It's a hard segue. It's a hard segue, but we're going to have to find a (coughs) smoother one, I think. But we do love honey. Honey is amazing. And today they're our sponsor, so thank you to them. You know you can save with honey now on your iPhone or computer? How awesome is that? You know, I just remembered, and unfortunately I fucking lost the screenshot. I don't know what happened to it. But I just got one this past weekend, or last week, uh, buying Valentine's stuff for Allie. Oh yeah, and it popped up, saved me like thirty bucks. What were you buying? Or I mean, if flowers it, and just like, flowers yeah, and stuff, and some some sweets. That's nice. So you're some good. For you're a good man. Wait, we me Ela had a huge one too. Did she send you? That one uh, is in here. I, she bought. What did she buy? Ela had a fat one. Yeah, let me find it. I think it's in Over here. the weekend, and here, here's what Honey is. It's a plug-in. When you're on your phone or browsing, there it is. This one at the top. Canada. I don't know why. It must be a Canadian company. Why but are you saving Canadian dollars? Either? 150 Canadian dollars. Here's how it works. It's a plug-in. It's so easy to install. It's literally like two clicks. Boom. And it's free to use, and what it does is it scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart automatically. You're shopping at one of your favorite sites, and when you're getting ready to check out, a honey button appears. All you gotta do is click it, apply coupons, it says. Click that. Wait a few seconds. Honey searches for the best coupons it can find for that website and automatically applies them. You watch the price drop magically, and it is revolutionary. It really is. Join the revolution. I, I would say, like, maybe 75% of the stuff I buy on the internet has a honey code that I would have never found otherwise. You don't even have to think about it, dude. And wow, it, true. It's nuts, man. You can say, I mean, they have it on clothes, tech, food, pretty much everything. This one, Ela, I think it was she bought a table or something. You know? Also, big news, it doesn't just work on the desktops now, it works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari, on your phone, and save on the go. So if you don't already have Honey, you are going to be straight up missing out on huge money in your pocket. And by getting it, not only will you be doing yourself a solid, you'll be helping to support us and the show that you love. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3tv. That's joinhoney.com slash h3tv. Thank you to Honey. We love you, Honey. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Throw it up in the air. Honey. Man, if only there was honey in those fucking trains and not vinyl chloride. So true. Then it would be a delightful afternoon. I'd be out there with a the spoon. <laughs> yeah, am I right? Actually, some oatmeal and just mm, gather it up and mm. tri- you know, trickle it on there. Mm. Here's some more Mm-mm-mm. photos just because I, I wanted to see more for my own personal interest. Let's see. Gizmo with the with the facts. Now we out here asking questions, little oh, folk. All right. you, you ain't seen the sheriff set nothing on fire, right? <laughs> you know what to say when the FBI asks who lit this on fire. Oh fuck, that looks gnarly. It's in the water. I love that. Jeez, dude, that's what it looks like when they set it on fire. Fuck that. Of course, the poor people always get screwed. This, I'm sure, is like a not a wealthy na- place, you know, 
some small town in Ohio. These people cannot afford to relocate. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not familiar with that town, but imagine you're probably... You never heard of East Palestine? I have not. Damn it, man, this is no time for trampoline. There's a toxic spill, didn't you hear? What y'all squatting about, man? I guess that's it. Yeah, it's pretty interesting in a horrific kind of uh, way, so. Let's keep it, let's keep it going. Let's keep the energy going for it. Yeah, um, Nick Clark says, you know they've already written an HBO movie about it, right? The script writers are first on the scene, actually, before even the they already wrote a EPA is there. They already made a movie about exactly this. That movie, White Noise, last year it was a Netflix movie, and it was about a train derailment, ecological. Oh, really? Disaster. Was it? Yeah, and as a matter or? of fact, uh, it was based off of um, it was based off an incident that happened, I think, in the eighties or something. I forget, could be wrong on that. White but anyways, White. the um, the residents of this town coincidentally, were used as extras in the disaster scenes in that movie. So they, they acted in a movie where basically this happened uh, just a year or two ago. A lot they of people used that the here. people who were victims of the ecological disaster to be extras? They Other way around. This happened before. I'm saying they used people in this town, in Ohio, oh. as extras in a movie about a train That's derailment. Weird. It is very weird. So some of these people are like, that is a crazy coincidence. I just did a movie about a train disaster. That's exactly right. My life is a movie. Welcome everybody to Palestine. Just like the one in the Middle East, it's on fire. Long Bye. live Palestine, Ohio, baby. Bomb Palestine, <laughs> Ohio. That's crazy, A.B., that you just said that. I said long live. Yeah, I don't think he said bomb. I said long live. <laughs> I think you I somehow long, managed to... I said long live Palestine, Ohio. Palestine no, Palestine no. Ohio. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, bomb boy. Palestine, Ohio. No, don't, don't do that. Uh, nope. And love. <laughs> let's uh, let's move on from this story. Yeah. So much Spend. love to Palestine, Ohio. So much love to and Palestine, 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 Ohio. All the Palestine 50 minutes in the world. on this. Let's, let's move on. Ohio, boy. All right, let's move on. So, yeah, we were giving Gabe some shit. Um, Elaine Christian, thank you for the gifted. We were giving Gabe some shit for not showing up to Elenity's party. Amaranth. Not Elenity. Alinity was there, though, in your defense. Sorry, Amaranth. Uh, and, and it turns out that, well, I guess we got some receipts from Nick. This comes compliments of you, Gay, uh, uh, Zach? Yes. So let's see. For the record, I gave Gabe the invite. He doesn't remember names, and we couldn't make it that night. He's very forg The motherfucker Gabe is forgetful, he said. Okay. Okay. So, so he's forgetful. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So he's absolved. Uh, yeah, it turned you out let I, him off that easy. I forgot too. I forgot about his birthday party. <laughs> I had a lot going on. Yeah, he's not that forgetful. He remembers to call in every Friday. Everybody seems to think you're going to get a strike for what you just said. Uh, no, it's what? No, everybody. Everybody relax. About? It wasn't that big a deal. Air strikes. It was obviously a goof. Not that serious at all. <laughs> Trust me, I have a sense of these things. <laughs> I <laughs> working too. with Ethan for a few years. Yeah, I, I do too. Yeah, no. Just a goofball. I just miss her AB. It's my fault. <laughs> well, that's not what you said, so. Long live Palestine, Ohio. It's not your fault. The joke, of course, is that you don't support the other Palestine AB? I do. Long <laughs> live kidding. the other Palestine as well. <laughs> Putting you on the hot seat there a little bit. <laughs> Swinging it back at you. I support Palestine as well. Both in Ohio and the Middle East. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and the good news is we've we're getting that kill switch soon too, right? In other yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it is in the works. Um, theoretically, we'll have it in a few <gasps> weeks here. So uh, it's twenty thousand dollars. That's how serious. Yeah, I didn't, didn't want to. It costs twenty thousand fucking dollars for this thing. Yeah, it's expensive. And it's gonna pay for itself in like a week, probably. Pay itself. I care. Wait, really? And I care. How? Yeah. How? Why? Yeah. Because it's high-end professional uh, broadcast video gear, and it's expensive. I, I've Damn. said from the beginning it was gonna be expensive. It was actually I still underestimated. I thought it was gonna be like seven or eight grand, but it ended up being. Quite a bit more than that. Well, the technology is pretty interesting, right? I mean, uh, it's really good. I mean, this is the device that's used on. Uh, they were probably using it on the Super Bowl last night. Right. Wow. So that's a good deal if you're talking about the Super Bowl. But for us, that's a lot of money. Yes, indeed. But I mean, if it prevents one strike, it will have paid for itself. Oh yeah. My attitude. Oh yeah. If it prevents one <laughs> sponsor Air from strikes. leaving. Uh, right. Exactly. It so, pays for itself. Yeah. Yeah, the chat's at 20, 20k well spent, somebody said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At and this just... point, I mean, I've, I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be totally honest with you guys. At this point, with all the dumb shit I've said, I've definitely lost millions of dollars, and I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I've lost millions, several millions, not even just one. Of Jews. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Millions of Jews is the fun. so twenty k is pretty good. You would think that I'd be more <sighs> bothered by it, but I kind of just Let's get a couple. It, it, well, yeah, I mean, you're once you're well off enough. It, what what's what's a couple million, right? <laughs> Between well, you and I, that's a lot of money, Dan. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we said that's why you're the greatest. That's right. He does. That's he's what, laying it, it all on the line. That's why I'm the greatest. That's what I was getting. Best at. to ever do it. I'm the best that ever did it. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why you're watching. You're, of course, referring to over the course of, like, the, the run of, of the, the podcast, yeah. like the amount of yeah. canceled sponsors that have happened, yes. and getting banned, and yeah, yada, yada. yeah, 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 and sponsors. Yeah, but it's okay. You know what I mean? Well, the kill switch is going to be a fun element. I feel like it's going to be something fun to play with anyway. Yeah, people have been asking me if I'm worried <laughs> that it's going to wind up getting me in trouble with you if I use it in something, in an instance where well, you're like, oh, that, that would have been fine. Yeah, it might piss me off, but I feel like that will be interesting content also. Like, the okay. conflict that will be good. Okay, that's, that's true. That's I, I feel only good things coming out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, you got to be on your A game, man. Even's going to be much more loose-lipped now. Okay. No, that, not, that worries not, me too. I'm is not, that you're no, gonna no, no, lean no. on it. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. But we what are we gonna set it to? Like 30 seconds? Uh the model that we're getting uh can do it, it's variable. Um and yeah, you can do I believe that one goes up to a minute and a half, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute and a half. Is that a, it's, I don't want to really add just, too much delay. No, I agree because it the longer the delay, the harder it is to interact with chat and everything. So I think 30 seconds is good. It's gonna be funny. We're gonna be like, okay. Do we hit the button? 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Would, yeah, that'll, that'll be interesting to see what Dan hits the button on. What will chat see when it's black or when it's like uh, crossed over? Just black? It, you can determine. Uh, it can either, you know, our... Hear this. We can have it cut yeah. to that. Um, awesome. retroactively you can also just have it um, I believe just dump the footage because the thing is you're on a delay and so if you remove 10 seconds right. it'll just skip ahead so dump. from the viewers perspective they'll just be a sudden jump cut to I think a we few seconds do, later we should do the technical difficulty thing one mm -hmm. is funny and two it allows us to use the button again right right big massive dump because if you cut forward then you lose your lead uh, yeah, well, that's so. Here's what the twenty thousand dollars gets you: is this device is actually smart enough that once you do that, it has a makeup mode where it will then start playing back the rest of the podcast um, sl ever so slightly sped up, like a hundred and five percent speed or something. Yeah. So it's not really perceptible, but then it will gain back that lost Dude, time. Dude, this thing's insane. Rewind this, right. Like I said, I mean, it, it, this is a, this is a, this is the real deal. This is like what's <laughs> used in control rooms for network TV and stuff. Is this your so. dream to be, you get work with the, all the highest tech shit, bro. I mean, I would love to. 
I, so who's going to have the kill switch? Just you and I. Oh, I'll be two. Okay, that's fun. That's fun. You'll have one on your desk, and then I'll have uh, a. It's just going to be like a big software. red button. Can we do something it's, like that? <laughs> it literally is that. I'll that's show you awesome. what it looks like. The, yes. the, the it, it's like kind of comical. It looks. Kind Can of we cartoony. get a big red button shot for the kill switch? <laughs> You'll probably be able to see it next to you if you just have it right next to your laptop there. Um, so we're gonna have 30 seconds to kind of convene real fast. It's like the nuclear codes. Uh, you, you well, it, it's a little different on the than way. That. What do we do? We it's could pre-record something word. that shows us hitting the button. So when you hit it, that's what oh, plays. That's what plays. Yeah. This is a slam down. That's a really good idea, AB. Yes, yeah. this is uh, what it looks like. So what's the two different buttons? <laughs> one is audio and one is video. Oh, so audio is actually you can just dip, you problem. can have it just dip out audio as well. Although people would still <laughs> could read my lips, which might be a problem. Yeah. Better to just it gives pl it plausible deniability. Well, I mean, it's it's totally yeah. Not if the audio out. drops out because I hit the doom button. <laughs> right. That that pretty much. Well, confirms. that's it. It's interesting. It also has this fancy thing where instead of you can set it to either do a beep, like a sensor beep, or to just drop out the audio altogether, or it has this fancy thing where it will scramble your voice um, with some sort of audio processing, so it sounds like you're speaking some made-up alien language, but it's still your voice. Like, See, I don't like that because I you. feel like if I was watching that, I would think I was like having an aneurysm. Or something. <laughs> I'm not going. I mean, I mean uh, dude. Right, you yeah. already do that. <laughs> okay, this is exciting, actually. Shit, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped for this. Uh, yeah. All my haters are crying at home right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like all massive streamers should have one of those, to be so honest. I was talking about this the other day, and maybe I shouldn't say this publicly, but the fact that this is something that does this function, there there are really primitive ways to do it. Like, I, I could do something similar than this uh, to this without spending this much uh, money, but it would be way clunkier and less reliable. Um, and obviously, you need this to be reliable otherwise what's the point um but yeah with the amount of times that uh streamers you know yourself included makes pop doopsies. off and make uh, oopsie doopsie I, yeah. I feel like there is a uh market segment for you want to invest an entrepreneuring in this? uh well if you could make one that's more of like a prosumer version that only costs like a grand instead of 20 no. and then you could sell it to shark tank you know, streamers i do oh. go to shark tank baby oh. I miss oh, God, mr wonderful would love this. Mm -hmm. I do feel like it would probably be very expensive and take a long time to actually make that product. Yeah, I'm not the person to do it, but it's somebody smarter than me. Um, Let's not talk about making money. But give, give me a call. <laughs> I'd love to invest, but I just lost millions of dollars uh, to <laughs> respond. I, I got it. It's kind of a vicious cycle. Time to invest. No, oh, I, I, I agree with you, Dan. It's, uh, it's a great product, and I'm very excited to have it. People said the thing is uh, the chat delay might kill interactivity. Yeah, I mean, that's the trade-off, right? Like, it, it is nice to be able to have a real-time back and forth with your audience, and that's definitely one of the big appeals for streaming, but uh, you got to weigh that versus um, losing your livelihood well, listen, by getting banned. I don't, I don't so. think anyone else really has this problem on the level that we do. $20,000 <laughs> is a lot of fucking money. Nobody else has an Ethan. Nobody does it like Ethan Klein, no, baby. Nobody does it. <laughs> Me, Paul, Ethan. Gefilte the fish, Klein, everyone. Gefilte he loves the fish. Loves it. Loves the stuff. <laughs> you ever smelled that? It's ripple. People don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah, Dan, uh, Dan and Ian, congratulations on the new meme you guys launched over the weekend. Speaking of the Super Bowl. Thank you. Thank you. You guys absolutely nailed this. Uh, what is this meme called? Soy Jack. Soy Jack. <laughs> Yeah, you guys were stoked to see Mr. Beast, huh? Mr. Beast! He came on the screen, and Ian and I immediately snapped our heads at each uh, other and went, Oh! Mr. Beast! Dude, you guys nailed it. That was <laughs> so good. It took a second to get that screenshot of Mr. Beast. Yeah, the eyes open. rewinding it and pausing it on the... Because he, he was literally on screen in this commercial for about a second and a half. Wait, what was the commercial for? God, I don't even remember. What was it? He was just randomly, it was just like a, it was a cameo. It like wasn't his commercial, he just like showed up in it. Does anybody in the chat remember what that commercial was for? Wasn't very good marketing. That, clearly not. We don't, we don't We have remember. no idea. I mean, I'm assuming phone, because he's holding a phone, and that's the only thing visible, like a product. He said he missed it, that he missed something. I, I didn't understand. Mr. Beast missed it? Like he Well, just, that's what he said in that shot. Some people oh, aren't no, sure. I missed oh, it. Oh, he was I trying to take out his phone. Right, right. It's a... Uh, 
it seems it's an NFL fo- commercial. Oh, it was an NFL Run commercial? with it commercial. You're, we're already watching the Super Bowl. It's for it's, women. It's meant to football. highlight women in football. Okay. Hit the switch. And so Mr. Beast is an ally. We, we love brought you. In, I was about to Thank say, you. the number one advocate for women <laughs> in football, really Mr. Beast. That's right, yes. folks. We love female athletes. Jimmy! <laughs> the girl some icon. Are, <laughs> some people are asking if it's intentional. I love the idea of this not being intentional. You guys are just stuck. Oh, yeah, our faces, it just wound up like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You guys just posted this. It's Mr. Beast. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck that's so good you guys need to send that to the nfl they're like the ad campaign's working perfect this is what we wanted <laughs> actually you guys uh i really have to pee mm. oh this son of a bitch people really been going hard on this meme though the avatar <laughs> yeah there's, there's a bunch of those this you guys in the film i'm not even kidding you guys are we were doing that in the theater right ian like him and I jumped up when the Toon Kun came on screen. That's right. We were like, bro, no way. <laughs> um, also, I want to give a shout out to our soon to be president, who Rihanna was the, the halftime act. And of course, uh, Trump did not like it for some reason. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I was dying when I saw that. Trump said, epic fail. Rihanna gave, without question, the single worst halftime show in Super Bowl history. This after insulting so far more than half of our nation, which is already in serious decline with her foul and insulting language. Also, so much for her stylist. <laughs> no, no, no. Harry's oh, such a queen. <laughs> it is very sassy. <laughs> he's, he's our... He could have he hit it with one of these. <laughs> You know, yeah, man, I'll just leave it at that. I had a beat off. People say that every year, though. Uh, this was the worst one ever. I didn't watch it. Did you guys like it? Or I mean, I watched it, but I was too. We far watched away. it. Yeah. I thought it was pretty awesome. I was. She pretty... has a lot of bops. Yeah. That was what everybody was commenting on the whole time it was going on, because she did the medley of all of her hits. Yeah, and, I just uh, forgot. She's got a. There's a lot. lot. Of, yeah, yeah, she got, got a, a lot, lot of hits. Jams. It was horrible. What is he saying? She insulted half the nation with her foul language? Is he just talking about the lyrics? I guess so. so. The lyrics are so disturbing, folks. She's talking about sex. It's terrible. (laughs) You're dressing up in lingerie before your mirror at home, tucking your dick between your legs, (laughs) imagining you have a vagina. For Ew. sexual kick, <laughs> Jordan. there's nothing sexual about that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jordan, Bloody that guy. Yeah, right. Liars. She also announced or <laughs> teased that she was pregnant during the performance, like right at the beginning. It oh. zoomed out and she like touched her stomach like she was pregnant. And some people are like, she gave like a boring performance. She literally is pregnant and she hosted the Super Bowl halftime show. Like she did yeah, a she beautiful did good. job. The dancing was interesting too. It was almost like they... Did all the dancing was, routines yeah. around her being pregnant. Like staccato movement, yeah, yeah, yeah. very little. Cool. I, I loved it. it. Yeah. Oh, there was nothing sexual about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, I didn't find it very sexy, uh, but I don't really care that much, really. Uh, is it the same uh, da- baby daddy? Yeah. A- ASAP Rocky? ASAP Rocky. It's mm-hmm. nice. Nice family they're building. <laughs> Rihanna's baby in the womb right now. <laughs> He's always killing me, bro. I don't know why. So stupid, but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Inspired by Super Smash Bros, apparently, uh, her performance. Yeah, we like. Oh, that's that is. We immediately really... like made that observation, and then uh, we were far from the only ones to notice that because there's a ton of edits. Well, on Well, when Twitter. have you ever seen platforms floating like that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so cool. Smash Bros. It is stage. so cool. Somebody made a made a video edit here. Let's take a look. Three, two. Oh, I have a feeling we're gonna get claimed for this, but let's see. One, go. That's good. I'm afraid to watch too much, but I like it. Also, shout out to Elon Musk who was there enjoying the Super Bowl. As we know, Elon Musk is a man of the people. 
he is a freedom of speech warrior. Yes. And yes. therefore is why he's besties with the one and only free speech warrior and man of the people, Rupert Murdoch. Yep. Don't believe the mainstream media's lies. Uh -huh, I guess Elon isn't for free speech after all. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, oh, was what? that Ninja? That, that was a dude that said identity uh, oh, theft. Oh, he said I was doing identity theft. Right. Why did he say that? Because uh, you were... Oh, I, I changed my name to yeah. Elon Musk. Yeah. Awesome. Idiot. Stupid fucking idiot. Yeah, so here's your man. Lines in that photo, Rupert Murdoch, yes. Elizabeth Murdoch, Besties Elon forever. Musk. Okay, hot dog queen, get that glizzy. <laughs> it doesn't matter how rich you are, a glizzy is a glizzy, is a glizzy you know what I mean? Hot dog That's queen. True. That's right. Yeah. Glizzy gobblers. <laughs> Glizzies are the great equalizer. That's so we true. We all gobbling them. Oh, true. Love me a glizzy. Rupert that's pays our checks too, so that's always good. <laughs> but damn, she's even going for Rupert's uh, glizzy. Yeah, everyone... Wait, what? She ate her glizzy and then she grabbed his glizzy. But uh, yeah, what'd she take from him? You see what I'm talking Rupert about? Pays our checks too. She puts so her glizz down. <laughs> Okay, and then she goes for his. Mm, I feel like it's a nap. Oh, it's, mustard, it's, it's, oh, it's on, yeah. mustard. Oh, come on. Come this, on. This is some good NFL play-by-play -play yeah. right here. It is. Let's take a look. We're going to have to review this play. It's yeah. mustard. Yeah. Put yeah. the yellow team back. John Madden level fucking yeah. analysis. And do you know who this woman is? Isn't she some also, also some like super... I believe uh, that is the CEO of Fox News. Oh, we love that for her. What a great character. Good people all around. Dan Scott. What is it like? Isn't it awesome being rich? <laughs> like, what do they talk about? Ooh, our employers, our employee. Oh, yes. Uh, pass the mustard, please. Do you uh, have I, any gray poupon? For my glizzy. All of my employees are such suckers. <laughs> for my yes. glizzy. How do you do, Mr. Murdoch? How's exploiting your workers this year been? Very good. <laughs> I made fifty billion dollars. Todger? Yes, yes. I hope your Todger is doing well. While well, sucking a smoko. Yes. Sucking some smokers in that. In Watching that a wiener. Yeah, wiener. Here's your man of the people. What a fucking clown <laughs> show. <laughs> Goddamn. Todger? Wiener. 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 Todger. I'm dreaming of my next Tucker. <laughs> Wait, he erased this? Why? Because they lost. What? Elon tweeted, <laughs> go <laughs> Eagles. And then... Never mind, they lost. And then he erased it. <laughs> Is he embarrassed? He's like, Sh cringe, I got I it picked wrong. The, I picked wrong, damn it. It's like, what connection delete. does he have to the Eagles? The Eagles like, got ratio, dude. <laughs> delete. Why would you erase it? Be proud of it. His hypothesis was false. He just yeah. said, go Eagles. Well, he should have deleted it. His hypothesis How, was false. And as a true scientist, I think that... He didn't even right. make a hypothesis. He made a retraction. He just he said, go Eagles. <laughs> That's so funny that he deleted it. <laughs> what a loser. So insecure, <laughs> little fucking baby. Also, the decorations with the three flags on either side. Really, he really... Yeah, why not the eagle emoji? What is this emoji game? He sucks. Do you think the American flag is in his like most recently used? Like he does it a lot. Probably. I think, I think it's him. on the homepage. I it, bet. Yeah. It's a good way for him to pretend that he cares about America. There's a goddamn eagle emoji, man. It was right all right. There. I'm gonna go pee, and then we have a secret video dedicated to Dan. Oh no! I had a feeling because I asked what that meant, and AB was a little dodgy with his response. Do you know like, what it is, though? No, I have no idea. We have a I top think. secret video that's been in the works. It's been in the works? For Dan. Oh, no. Is it, you are should, you guys going to embarrass me? You should be... Wor <laughs> Jesus, that was loud. You should be scared and, and, and on the edge of your seat, but I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we'll watch it. You could just stew in that, mm -hmm. in that terror. Yeah, Dan asked me what it was, and I said, it's a secret, bro. That's why it's labeled secret. I don't even don't know Don't worry it about it. Show mm -hmm. of hands here. Who knows who's in, the, who knows who's in on this? Yeah. Uh, Zach? Zach? Um, I told Ian. Okay. Not me. I have no idea what no you guys idea. are talking about either. Yeah. First of all, look at Lena's hair. Can we talk about it? Thank you, Olivia. Yes, Lena Thanks cut her so hair much. and she got highlights. Definitely. Woo! I'm so happy. It looks so pretty. 
Yes, and can we talk about Olivia's makeup too? Oh, yes, that's I, you. Oh chat was God. saying we need to see Shout Olivia's makeup. Thank you. Valentine's Day. You know, it looks great. Zachary thank Lewis you. live and your hair at the Roxy. looks awesome also. Oh, thank you. Me and Lena went to the same stylist. After I uh, destroyed my hair last time, Ela's like, please just go to my stylist. And I was like, all right. I'll stop doing it myself. And it turned out good, so shout out, Jess. Woo! Um, do we want to talk about how I was magic yesterday with my guesses? Go for it. <laughs> yesterday, we were putting bets on like who we think we're going to see in commercials. I hit mm. two, like super neat, like... Back to back. I felt like those were great guesses that I pulled. And they were back to back is the thing. It went Kiss and then Martha Stewart. And I felt magic in that moment. It was it was impressive. Thank you. Well done. Side I down. took a lap around the room both times. Someone sent me. <laughs> you did actually. <laughs> <laughs> I remember noting that. Zachary Lewis. I don't know if we should at wait. The Roxy. Oh yeah, <laughs> that too. Zach Lyman. <laughs> Oh, Someone sent me a really good XQC video. I don't know if we should wait for Ethan for it. It's 30 seconds. I thought it was funny. I don't know if everyone else will find it find it that good, but I hear him coming out of the bathroom, so maybe we'll wait for him. I'll just add it to the doc. A carrot. Drop it in there. Yeah. A carrot. A carrot. Shiro. Carrot. What was that, love? Shiro. Shiro? He's when he saw a Shita, he once said Shito. Shito. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, okay. Shito? Love, okay. did you watch the Super Bowl? Was it playing in Sweden? No. No, Jesus. No, I didn't know. No, know. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Do you, do, you, do you mean rugby? I don't know what American football is. Oh, Jesus. No, I mean football. No. No, that's not football. It was a pretty forgettable game. That's not football. It wasn't anything like the Pats' greatest comeback of all time. The greatest comeback in sports history. Not just football history, sports, sports history. Sports fucking Pats history. The because Tom Brady's the goat, man. I love him. Hello. Right. Papa's back. Hello. I just heard Kerita a lot. Kerita. Yeah, I've just someone just sent me another XQC video that I Can I open this? Good. The title's a little provocative. It it is. But it's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I watched it. Okay. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. What comes in here says it says Charizard like he's like you nigger special. What? He said, you're ah, talking about Charizard like he's unique, unique or special. special man. Charizard? That's... That's Charizard. crazy. <laughs> that's ah, crazy. Charizard is basic as fuck! For, for, for a third evolution! Bravo. He's right, that is he controversial. He he <laughs> calling Charizard basic as fuck for a third evolution? Did he do that on purpose? No. no. Killing the build-up. You gotta, you gotta leave it. You gotta leave it for the last five seconds. You're not unique or special, man. Charizard? You unique or special, I hear it. That's crazy that he managed to turn that into like a devastating Carrot! <laughs> Carrot that alright, so I should go to the end. He gone? He, did you just say you niggas are special? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. It's I that yeah, okay. Carrot! Crazy, huh? Let's see. Another classic XQC. Am I? Are we just this is my favorite. XQC fans? Like what I, is, I, I, I am. I'm on board now. I'm with love. Same. Welcome. I stand. Damn. Mm -hmm. Cheeto. <laughs> Cheeto. Cheeto. <laughs> Pretty high level stuff here, you guys. I see what you like about him. <laughs> Cheeto. There's more. Apparently, everybody just loves. Pile them on. This is the one Anissa was talking Wait. about. Wait. Is jellyfish a herb? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Wait, what? What, what even? What I don't even mean? understand. Where did that come from? I have no idea. Because the turtle's eating it, he means? No. He's just wondering if it's like a vegetable. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. But a herb's not... <laughs> like, like a plantation. Specifically an herb. <laughs> like a spike. Wait. Wait. Is jellyfish a herb? From <laughs> I want to see chat answer him. I think like, he's did they right. just say no? What is wrong I'm with sure, yeah, I'm sure. 
I think you're right, Dan. I, it, was that you? He, he, the turtle's eating it, so he yeah. thinks that that was not my speculation. I don't want to. Well, who speculated? Carrot that. I did. Oh I yeah, take that. Credit. That was you, Olivia. Because I know that turtles eat jellyfish <laughs> because when balloons Boy, hit a certain like, point and they is it explode, they look like jellyfish in the ocean, and that's why turtles die. I think he's just talking about the it's either a hair be what? In, in the description on that video, it says that jellyfish are herbivorous, so that's where he's getting oh, maybe. that from. Okay. But that's right. still one, okay. Well, but maybe that's what he thinks <laughs> the herbivore is, they just eat herbs. Yeah. Right, I know that's not oh, what he is. I like, it's not totally random for him to be wondering. Right. Okay. Okay. I, think, I think you're right. Lena with the uh, decoded set. What is the herbivore? That just, would make sense, though. What, what, what does the herbivore eat? It's just an animal that eats... Are you, are you asking for real, or you you would want to? Yeah, I'm. It? I'm oh, I never a, heard that word. It's just an animal that eats plants. Oh, yeah. opposite See? of a carnivore. I. This is why I relate more uh, with XQC than you guys. Right. I've never heard of <laughs> herbador. Right. What the fuck? The fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck did? All right. So, um. Anyway, congratulations. Okay. So, secret video time. All right, Dan. I hope you're ready. It's a, it's a cameo? It's a cameo. Get ready. Uh oh. You better pull in your butthole together. Okay. Special announcement from, should I say, or does he say in the video? Uh. It, oh, will I not know? Will I not recognize Well, fondle my say. flubby fetus. You feel this energy between us? <laughs> oh, damn. Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Hi, Dad. <laughs> it's bread. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're looking good. Yeah. Thank you. You got a love in your life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you two got any spicy plans for Valentine's Day? Huh? You gonna smooch it up a little bit? You gonna take her out to the Walmart parking lot? Maybe slice open a hefty bag of tuna fish, lay it all out on the asphalt, and roll around in it? Huh? <laughs> I bet you she'd love that. Oh yeah. Gosh, Dan, 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 Dan. Where do I begin? You had the creamiest little scalp. Uh huh. Yeah. A CLS, as Kenneth would say. Remember this? <laughs> we used to. Slather that puppy in some pickled mudfish and then unleash Maurice and let him have his way. Yeah. Maurice. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Maurice. How the pussy's doing? Good? <laughs> Still hairy? <laughs> Still wrestling around? That's, yep. That's Cute little fuckers, hands. huh? Yeah, absolutely. Old Terror and Celis. Uh huh, right. Wish him the best for me, huh? <laughs> Dolphin Die 5 5. Eek! <laughs> Oh, wow. It's crazy what time does to people, you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Okie doke. I'm gonna get the hell out of here now. <laughs> yeah, so. You two get weird. All right. Kill. <laughs> Enjoy your war hammer. Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, stay away from the, the pipes of the meat variety. Because, uh, you know, like either beats. <laughs> <clears throat> Alrighty. Just gonna jet on out of here. <laughs> that, of course, wow. comes from your girlfriend, Allie, to wish you a very fond. And so that was from Alex. And love filled Valentine's Day. Oh, how sweet. And what better to set the mood than a love message from Infobrand? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't put it together. I thought you guys put this together. Nope, that was out. That was all her. Wow, I'll have to message her right now. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank and you. By, and that tuna idea, did that not, did sound kind of end a good idea maybe for you guys? Rolling around some tuna in the wall, Walmart parking lot? Was yeah. that it? Yeah. Okay. Would you, know. you like me to report back? You can film it. I don't know how that, film that. <laughs> Live report back? Game. Yeah, the, so there it is. Okay, so let's talk about, um, I guess let's get into the Joe Rogan thing. Which starts with, oh, we have so many smokes. Why does it lie? To, why does it lie? Joe Rogan had this insane take on Jewish people <laughs> that really fucking shocked me. And it kind of went under the radar. I didn't, I didn't see anyone really caring about it. Um, here, let me move some stuff around real fast. I am Jewish. Here it is. Wait, not this. Damn it. Here it is. Wrong browser. If we just have 30 seconds of dead air, do we hit the dead switch? Possibly. <laughs> you know, it's like, ah, that was boring. <laughs> Maybe a bad joke. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Dead air. <laughs> Anyway, here's Joe Rogan. Check this out. Tell me if you notice anything odd about what he says here. Did you see United him set, sitting next to Ilian Omar where she's, uh, she's apologizing for talking about it's all about the Benjamins? Yeah. Which is just about money. She's she right. talking about she money. She shouldn't have apologized. She, that I mean, was I'll not, go ahead and That's say not an anti-Semitic statement. I don't think that is. It's about <laughs> Benjamins or money. You know, the, the idea that Jewish people are not into money is ridiculous. Listen. That's like saying uh, Italians aren't into pizza. It's fucking I mean, stupid. Listen, it's I, fucking stupid. I understand that. That is like so overtly, shamelessly anti-Semitic. Also a little fucking, also a little goofy of the comparison to the Italians too. Hey, Italians, they love pizza. They all love pizza. Love about Hitler. I love pizza, too. I thought I loved pizza because it was delicious. But it turns out, well, my kids are 7% Italian. Uh, but here's Joe Rogan. At the way she phrased it, like she could have phrased it a different way so that people would have less of a freak out. But... Can you not talk about the influence of money in D.C.? Of course. When, I mean, this is very obvious. There's a very obvious reason why for my entire life, there's been a uniparty consensus around our policy vis-a-vis -vis the Israeli government and a total inability or unwillingness to criticize the Israeli government. It has everything to do with organization and, yes, money, yes. just like every other fucking interest in D.C. And so, yeah, the fact that she said that and she got kicked off the Foreign Affairs Committee, look, I have issues and disagreements with Ilhan Omar, but she actually is one of the more courageous voices on foreign policy. I don't know why they didn't cut it sooner, but... Obviously, she's saying, like, you know, you can criti- This is, a like, a common thing you hear, and it's true. You can criticize Israel without being anti-Semitic. But Joe Rogan's like, yeah, dude. And also, like, just saying that they're <laughs> obsessed with money isn't anti-Semitic at all. Come on. I could say anti-Semitic <laughs> things, and Adidas can't drop me. But it's, but it's so not like saying Italians like pizza. Italians weren't killed for fucking eating pizza. They weren't round up and exterminated. Also, there isn't like a malicious conspiracy that Italians have a pizza Gestapo that controls the world. I don't know. It's so stupid comparison. This man can t it's so dumb. He could, I don't know, he's, he's, is he getting dumber? He has no pizza experience. I, I think Alpha Brain might be toxic to the brain. Because this man gets dumber. But yeah, nobody cares, I guess. When people are anti-Semitic, I think it's all good to, to a point here. Um, it's kind of crazy. Do you see him set, sitting next to Ilian Omar where she's, uh, she's apologizing for talking about it's all about the Benjamins? <laughs> yeah. Which is just about money. She's, she's right. talking about she money. She shouldn't have apologized. She, that I mean, was I'll not, go ahead That's and not an anti-Semitic statement. I don't think that is. It's about <laughs> Benjamins or money. You know, the, the idea that Up to Jewish this people point, are not into money is ridiculous. 
up to that point, when I saw this clip, I was like nodding along. I'm like, wait, why are people mad at Joe? Like he's making a good point here or whatever. And then it just yeah. like takes this left turn. We're just like, come on. That's like Italians the... and pizza. Come on. And money and Jews, you that's, know? That's the anti-Semitic trope. <laughs> that's like literally why people hate Jewish people. <laughs> Joe Rogan, you fucking idiot. Jews, lo you love money. Look at your ass. You fucking, you sold out to Spotify for like hundreds of millions of dollars. You love money. And if a Jewish person did that, then it would all be about like, oh, greedy Jew. Joe Rogan loves money so fucking much. He, he shills scams like Alpha Brain, or at least, I don't want to call it a scam, but like, it's dubious claims. Dubious is a good word. I love the word dubious. Yeah. That's a great word. Did you learn it from EverQuest? Of course I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going awesome? through my head. So awesome. <laughs> so awesome. Con dubious. That was yellow, right? Uh, I believe it was yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Not hostile, but dubious. Mm -hmm. Love that. Nobody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> nope. Like, probably like 10 people in the audience. Yeah. So, this whole thing about Jews love money, it's actually, it's actually the single worst uh, most damaging conspiratorial thing about Jews. Joe Rogan surrounded himself with these um, white supremacists so much. He's like, "No, this is all my homies think this. This isn't this is this isn't controversial. All my homies agree. Come on, Jews love money, just like Italians love pizza. Italians love pizza. You know the Germans, they love their beer. Come on." The Jews, they love their money. It's the same thing. Russians and their vodka. It's so fucking stupid, bro. Like, what? Fucking what? Stupid, bro. What's like a. God, I don't know. It's just gross. I can think of more examples, but they are all probably not great things well, to have sound bites of saying. What's, so. a, <laughs> <laughs> what's an accurate Italian uh, analogy for Joe? Because he goes, oh, Italians like pizza. But it, it's like Jews love money, like Italians love fascism. Yeah, there, that's good. Yeah. That's good. The Italians, we love our Mussolini. <laughs> Peppercini with our Mussolini. Us Italians, we love fascism. Yeah, actually, here, that's actually a better comparison is like all Italians are mobsters, like in the mob. That wouldn't be an actual all, like, offensive All Italians are drug. thugs. Right. I love pizza and I love people. Everybody knows every Italian's a thug. They can't be trusted. They're Jeez. violent criminals, psychotic. Jeez. Joe, I know you're Italian, and so this message might not get clear to you, you violent thug. Shh. 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 Put down the weights and listen to me for Christ's sake, this moron. <laughs> I'm such He's, a sucker. Joe's the muscle. He doesn't got much brain. When we deliver the goods, Joe, right there. Like, what do you think about it? Yeah, I'm not overreacting, right? That's like psychotically anti-Semitic. Do you think there's anything? Yeah, that... I, I, it's, just, and it's, it's just very, you can tell it's like so casual and like just kind of ingrained uh, because again, the wider, like, he thinks he, like, he's interviewing, uh, her name's Crystal Ball, I think. Mm -hmm. um, what the hell? That's her name. Uh, yeah. Change that girl. Is that her, is that her real name or, like, a fake name? I, I think that's her real name. Crystal Ball? I, oh, I that's not fair to her if that's real. I'm pretty sure it's real. Oh, her parents were Why'd mean they do that? that day. Why'd they do that? I, oh, I, let me see into your future. I don't know. Maybe it is a stage name. I, I don't know. I just know that she goes by Crystal Ball. Crystal with a K. The way I just looked up in Google Crystal Ball and it showed me a bunch of Crystal Balls is good, like glass. <laughs> crystal glass with a K. Years. She'll never beat, uh, she'll never be number one on Google. You just can't beat the Crystal Balls. They're too prolific. <laughs> yeah, she, well, she knew what he was doing and she, she backed out real fast on that one. Right, yeah. She's because, like, no, yeah, no, 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 no. She's Israel, a, a left, a left leaning uh, commentator. And yeah, I mean, the, uh, the wider conversation that was going there was uh, one that I don't necessarily disagree with. And he, he thought he was like, he thought he was being based 
to her right there and mm-hmm. like did he, i don't think he even really registered how bad that's i'm just gonna spit facts right now hmm. jews are greedy i'm just gonna say it plainly right now i'm just spitting facts i'm just know? spitting facts and anybody who says that's anti-semitic i mean come on it's part of the conspiracy <laughs> hey crystal ball what does your crystal ball say Sorry. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, so, <laughs> so that's not the main story of today, but that, that was just like a little sneak peek of. Do you think that uh, there's something to this idea that like because it's anti, people don't care that much about anti-Semitism? Oh, absolutely. Uh because like people just in general, in general, people don't get outraged because like no, they do. That was pretty bad, and nobody talked about it. Well, it's just it. It's like, I mean, how often is Joe popping off with stuff like this? It's like you only stay mad for so long. They've been trying to cancel this guy for two or three years now. It's, yeah. it's not happening, and it's like that's true. Add it to the pile, right? Yeah, I think through my life, though, I've definitely seen people being anti-Semitic more casually than I than think other, so. I thank you. I, I I do think so. Speech. I think the casualness that people are anti-Semitic is really interesting. Yeah, I think yeah, it, it was. It depends. A lot of when I, when I was in high school, that was like always the punchline of the jokes was mm-hmm. a lot of anti-Semitism mm-hmm. shit. I yeah, me- no, it was pretty ubiquitous for me growing up too. I was uh, sitting with a friend of mine and this other dude in class when I was in high school. My dad owned a bike shop and uh, with two other guys, and they were all Jewish because they're, uh, they're all part of, the fam- uh, you know, part of the same family. And um, he goes, yeah, I used to work for Cycle Scene. That was my dad's shop. And my friend was egging him on because he, know- he knows my dad owns the shop. He's like, oh, really? So what did you think about them over there? He's like, if they're run by a bunch of Jews. And he's like, really? What's wrong about Jews? He just, he fucked him up. It was really funny, but also like really sad. He's like, what do you mean? What's wrong with Jewish people? <laughs> and then once he got him to like fully expose himself, he's like, you know, his dad owns Cycle Scene, right? <laughs> Pretty good. Got him. He was very embarrassed, but yeah. Got him. There was a casualness with that. that yeah. Uh, also, I feel that like surprised me. The the K word gets thrown, at least in my case, gets thrown around a lot. People call you that? I've had it happen. Yeah, growing up, people threw it out a lot. I I, I mean, I think part of it too is just I, I'm not an adolescent in high school where people are edgy and saying shit like that all the time. But yeah, when I was a kid, people threw around the K word a lot. People say this a lot still. Don't don't Jew me or whatever. That's like insane to me. That that's. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Like, what the fuck? Trying to Jew me out of something. What does that mean? Like, rip me off. Oh, like financial? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to make it sound like it's it was just uh, people are saying K-word. We can say it, right? It's not like... Don't say it. Okay. We'll just look it up. It's a slur for Jewish people. It starts yeah. with a K. You'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I do want to say, though, that uh, that casualness... Um, uh, I agree, definitely existed growing up and, and heard a lot of it myself, but I don't want at all to discount, like, at least in my experience in the area that I grew up, so much just casual racism about Mexicans and, and right. Latino people as well. Um, even yes. though, I mean, my, my schools were like 70% Hispanic <laughs> and people were still just wildly racist against mm-hmm. Mexican people growing up. So, uh, yeah, uh, Jews were not the only one, but... Uh, people are hateful everywhere yeah i mean and again you don't look like me it's also kids not not that that totally excuses it but like kids don't really yeah but where they're trying to be edgy exactly well they just they inherit it and they're not really thinking about it and well and to be fair joe rogan does have the uh maturity of an (laughs) eight-year-old right yeah you can let him go on this one i think south park is to blame for a lot of that that's where i first heard these terms to be honest I would absolutely agree with that. <laughs> Never was, thought about that. And I'm a huge but South aren't they Park Jewish, fan. The guys, or one of them no? is. One of them. Wait, but, really? But yeah, the, Matt Stone is Jewish. Yeah. Okay, then he gets the pass. 
Well, and that's the thing is South Park is, uh, uh, it's satire, but you don't understand that as a kid. Right. Yeah. Like you think Cartman's hilarious. You don't realize that he's like supposed to be a fucking little shit piece of shit when you're a kid. <laughs> you think he's, yeah, there was so, I knew so many kids that like thought Cartman was so funny. He was great. Wait, whatever. what did you learn from South Park, AB? Not to, i just curious which is like. Because I knew all that shit, obviously, as a Jewish person. I never thought about it. I didn't grow grow up around any Jewish people, to be honest, because where I come from is predominantly Arab. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I remember hearing that term. What, the K-word? K-word. That was on positive. South Park? I'm almost positive. Oh, yeah, they said it on <laughs> South Park. Yeah, and I remember asking they said my all mom kinds what of slurs means. on that show. That show was wild, dude, <laughs> Crazy, was in the early seasons. Yeah. Well, I mean, Cartman. That's where everybody learned the F slur for, for gay people as well. I used to, they said it all the time on that show. Cartman. Yeah. What? Yeah, they oh, always yeah. call each other. Yeah. Car what? You don't remember this? I don't remember it that. It was very casual. It was on the show all the time. Cartman uh, dressed what? up as Hitler and marched around the town because he loved a Mel Gibson. It was like a Passion of the Christ or something <laughs> like that. Like, it it's fucking funny, hilarious. Man. It is a funny show, and they went after everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, same thing. People say, don't jip me, but I, I, once I realized that I was talking about, like, Romanian people. Literally, me too. Then I was like, you're Holy not Ro fuck. Roma people. Or what? It's different. You said Romanian. It's oh, not yeah. Romanian. But Roma. People. Uh, gypsies. But they come from somewhere, isn't it? Romania area? No, it's I, I, a lot of people get confused by that. It's Romanian people are different than Roma. Where do gypsies come from? Uh, well, they they come from a lot of places. Uh, I think the Balkans, but they they're nomadic is the thing, uh, and so they they're all over Europe. It, it's similar to Jews, how um, they, Rome? they were all over the place in uh, northern India, but lived in modern times worldwide, principally in Europe. Right. There you go. The fuck? So wait, Roma, Romani or Germani, Gypsies probably. is considered a pejorative. Romani? Right. Romani. Is considered a pejorative? Uh... Well, tell that to our chat because they're all spamming in the chat right now. Hey, watch you're, your mouth. Watch your mouth, people. Um, yeah. Well, that, yeah, but a lot of people, you're you're far from the only person to confuse that. I think I thought that for a long time, but um, yeah, uh, Romanian is different. Okay, well, regardless, um, once I realized what it, what it was I was saying, because I didn't even realize for a long, I was like, wait, chips? Oh yeah, same. I had no idea. Like, just the word, up. the word saying Gyp. gypped yeah, or literally. whatever i i didn't even make the connection to gypsy yeah I just thought that was just the expression people when like. i first started here i said it and i was like oh shit i had no oh, idea that that's what oh. that was uh oh yeah yeah, I yeah. Haven't said it's it like since, whoa obviously. i got some shit for saying uh, spaz recently spaz spaz yeah oh yeah which I is guess like what i've been lips. calling lena for years wait what's wrong with spaz because it's short for spastic like somebody who uh like having a like a I guess, seizure, uh, like that, or I guess maybe even like uh, you, you, you have spasms from your Tourette's. I think a spasm is like a you can't. It's just like happens. An involuntary, yeah, involuntary. Right, and so but they're someone saying, who's like, spastic is born with a disability that makes it difficult for them to control their muscles. There you go. So that that's an actual medical condition, spastic. Right, yeah. People now refer to someone with this disability as having cerebral palsy. Oh, so it's like saying using the R word for someone with cerebral palsy. I guess, I guess so. People say spaz is like the R word in the UK. Well, I think here now too. Oh um, shit, that's crazy. It's crazy, a lot of the language that I used as a kid that I know is super offensive now that everyone was using, I had no idea um, what the fuck I, it meant or what I was even saying. I think that's, mm. that's the case for a lot of people. That's why, you know, it's okay to, uh, to learn these things and, and, and grow rather than, you know. Well, you get so attached to it. When you use a word like the R word, like restarted, mm -hmm. it, there's a certain level of like, it's so ingrained in your, uh, yeah, in your vocabulary for It's so useful decades. in terms of like how you describe things. Mm -hmm. People don't want to give that up, but. Yeah, sometimes, like, of course, I, I, I don't plan on saying it, but like, it's hard for me to find a fill word when I've been calling Lena a spaz for years. Like, I don't know what's the, what's the word to insert there instead. Lena, how do you feel about that? He's basically, are you here, Lena? <laughs> I love the cut. So no <laughs> All right. <laughs> she's such a fucking. No, oh, she's she's there. Uh, she's back. Okay, Lena, you're back. 
I'm always in the vicinity. I'm listening. Yeah. What's up? So, AB's been calling you a restarted? No. No. <laughs> no not... <laughs> spaz. But yeah, the word before that, he does, he was calling me that. Hmm. Thoughts? You want to know why? 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 Oh, I, AB, you should explain maybe. I don't know. Why do you call me that? Because sometimes she, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, me either. <laughs> sometimes she, she, she bugs out sometimes. What does that mean, you bug out? Like, uh, little neuroses. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I had always used it as well. Wait, hold on. I, I want to know what bug out means, Lena, if you're comfortable. Which, what word means? Well, what does bug out mean? Never heard that mm. expression before. Bug out. Um, is, is that what you said? I'm saying, it's, yeah, it's hard to find like the fill. Like, it's like when she gets scared, like when she screams. Like, like what is he talking about? Like, okay, we'll be sitting next to each other, and the TV will turn on. She'll be like, <gasps> like, oh, yeah, okay. she gets. So yeah, I she's jumpy. Easily. Maybe we could say that. Jumpy. Does that makes sense. Jumpy. Yeah. Jumpy. Jumpy. Very jumpy. She'll be like, and you got it. She'll there be you. like, she'll be like. What is that? Or did you do that? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it just turned on or something. I don't know. But yeah. I have noticed that you you get spooked easily. Mm. Yeah, I'm, jumpy is a good word for it. Okay. So this is a little spooked magook. So I guess <laughs> sp I didn't know this now, but spaz, this is it. It's out. It's out. No, no more. more. You gotta. You're gonna have to redo that, Ab. Mm -hmm. Well, is snips okay? He calls me snips because of it too. Snips? That mm -hmm. seems fine. Okay. It's offensive to people who are circumcised, to be honest, but it's fine. <laughs> I am deeply fucking offended. <laughs> yeah. Snips? Excuse me? I don't love it, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, so Joe Rogan's anti-Semitic. Uh, also, this, so yeah, he got, there's this huge Joe Rogan scam. <laughs> and I've been talking about his supplements being like pretty, pretty questionable. And then this video is making its rounds. Sure enough, Joe has, has, uh, well, what can I say? Here he is. Check it out. Check this out. There's a category of supplements that are very interesting, work very well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Well, look, that Alpha Grind product that's all over TikTok, if you go to Amazon and you type in libido booster for men, you're going to find it right at the top. Mm -hmm. And that's because guys are figuring out that it literally is increasing size and making a difference down there. It stimulates the testes, if you got those, to make more testosterone right. or estrogen. Right. Why does it There's lie? a category of supplements <laughs> that are very interesting. So the deep fake well scams to... are here. Of course, that's not Joe Rogan or his guest having a serious conversation. <laughs> But you know what's so funny is that because this is especially compelling because Joe Rogan does shill this crap. Yeah, it's like it's close enough to reality that it's believable. Like if it was, if it was, I guess we should explain that this is a deep fake and uh, fabricated audio and everything. And um, yeah, I mean, if somebody did this to you, you constantly shit on like these supplement companies and everything and it wouldn't be believable but like you said he he's shilling them all the time so it's like it doesn't seem like a stretch Perfect. Yeah, yeah it doesn't seem like a stretch at all mm -hmm. and let's be honest joe rogan listeners are probably not like the highest iq how dare you no. they're more they're more into t levels than iq t high <laughs> iq low baby <laughs> okay <laughs> um here is hassan's editor i love this guy um Ostinox. This guy is freaking incredible. He redid it so it sounds even better. I don't know why he did this for the scammers, I guess. They well, he was just trying to show uh, that. Because, I mean, frankly, like, that one isn't that good. Yeah. Like, Joe's watching. Yeah, weird. the voice is a little off. It doesn't really sync up. And so he's just showing that um, he's. They said, 30, they, they said, said it, they did it in 30 minutes. And he they says were, with 30 minutes, yeah. he made it sound much better. The original one was made in like five minutes. I don't think that any time at all went into that. But here is the 30-minute uh, improved version. There's a category of supplements that are very interesting, work very well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Well, look, that Alpha Grind product is all over TikTok. Do we get, wait, do we get Amazon, claimed for this song? Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it's probably a royalty-free one because he threw it on to be shared around. 
Type in libido booster for men, you're going to find it right at the top. He blurred that's it. That's because man. guys are figuring out that it literally is increasing size and making a difference down there. Yeah, his voice sounds way more natural it's in this one. It looks so fucking real. Like the testy Wait, the first half of the clip, that's not deep fake, right? Of the the, his the dude. There's a category yeah, of that, supplements that are very that's real, right? I'm work very well to increase I don't know, 100% testosterone. No, my, my automatic assumption was that they just shot that guy in a room to look like he was sitting across from Joe Rogan and then uh, deep fake the, the opposite part of it. That, no, this guy, this guy was a guest. Oh, he was a real guy. Yeah. And so he's just talking it's about all some other... Faked. Hold on, let me watch this. Let me watch this. There's a category of supplements that are. No, good. this guy's deep fake too. Oh, Look okay. at his mouth. It looks a little very un interesting. Un that worked yeah. very uh -huh. well to increase testosterone by about 100 to 200 points. Yeah, well, he, his voice movements are a little huh. uncanny. I mean, that looks fucking legit. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah. so so this is the brave new world that we find ourselves in. Eh? <sighs> deep fake scams are here. Surprised it took this long. I'm gonna be like. Hey, do you think Klein? Today I'm selling you get do your sign up bonus at stake.com using my code each i I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that was. It's a deep fake. I'm deep undercover. Meanwhile, I'm getting paid that Aiden Ross money. It was a deep fake, man. Hi, I'm Ethan Klein. Please buy my supplement. To increase your testosterone. <laughs> you know? Pretty scary, though, eh? I'm sure that this probably worked on a lot of people. You're pointing at yourself? Olivia? It worked on you. Did you buy some of this? If you guys hadn't said anything and, like, said you wanted to talk about it today, I wouldn't have thought twice. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't look that closely, especially at a video of Joe Rogan. I'm not going to be like, what's he yeah. really saying? I just, that looked real to me. Yeah, I'm with you, 100, I'm with you, man. We need to see a, uh, a version of this where they're selling mascara or something and trying mm. to pass it off in front of Olivia and see if she Austin Austin, Because maybe if you're, if you're more engaged with the content, you might have this mascara really Maybe. increased my uh, estrogen. <laughs> my titties grew a whole cup size <laughs> mm -hmm. from the mascara. <laughs> Can you do that, Cam? Is there like a app or something? I'll look into it. Yeah, let's get some mascara, Joe Rogan. I remember Cam did it with. Um, I think it was for make Ethan laugh. He did it with uh, uh, Kim Kardashian's dad. It was actually Ethan's dad. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was Ethan's yeah, dad. Actually, yeah, yeah. But that was my voice, though. Yeah, right? we didn't. We didn't. He didn't fake the voice. Yeah. It was just Cam talking. Is scary. Right. The the mouth thing is kind of easy, I guess. Yeah, it's wicked easy to do that. But but the I voice. hear it's the voice thing. That it got like pretty easy to do. You just put it in. I don't know whatever. Yes, sir, Joe Rogan. Nice clickbait title, though, eh? It's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, let's see. An internet scam featuring AI version of Joe Rogan went viral. The ad sees Rogan, yada, yada. Yeah. The version they are using is paywalled. Oh, really? How much is it? It could be a worthy investment. I love that shit. We could have yeah, Joe... How much is it, love? I'm not sure, but I think it's uh, 11 labs, I think it's called. Uh, let's buy it. Let's start doing it now. This is uh, President Obama. I'm here to tell you that... Uh, you gotta have them ribs. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the HV podcast. Pussy, too. Love, Ethan. <laughs> love pussy, too. <laughs> gotta have pussy. Dude, that is the most worthy investment we could possibly do. I mean, Rogan uh, talked about Jimmy Lee on his show. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, that one was real. Though. That one was 100% real. Yeah. Right. Forgive me. Forgive me. That one was real. Um, we got so much other stuff. Let's see. Andrew Taint. This man's in jail rotting. It's so awesome. This man said... He tweeted out, 
I updated my will from prison. I will be donating a hundred million to start a charity to protect men from false accusations. No, you're not. No. Nice try, though. First of all, there's no way he has that much money. I don't give a fuck how many people he's trafficked. Ball farm. And second of all, you definitely didn't do that. I'm the one getting plowed. God willing, we'll find out if it's true or not soon. Also, he... Fan. Why, because you think he's going to die? I didn't say anything about that. Well... It is what it is. What did you mean? I just said, God willing, we'll find out in the if near future. God wills it. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? Alhamdulillah. Does that mean uh, God wills it? Means, it means, thank God. Oh. God is great. Inshallah means God willing. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. So what's the hand motion I should do with that? Inshallah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. I think it's That's, like, I'm a man of God. God. Oh, yeah. my God, A.B. <laughs> What's the hand motion, Lena? There's or no. Inshallah? I mean, yeah. if like if I'm imagining my mom saying it, she would just be like this, like inshallah. Insha and, and, yeah. and, and, how yeah. do I say? Up it? to the heavens. Insha and inshallah. 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 God willing. In Hebrew, it's Baru Barut Hashem. Baru Hashem. Baru Hashem. Baru Hashem. Barut Hashem. He says, "I would never kill myself." Okay. I am not suicidal. I knew it was coming. Thank you, Zach. There was actually, he's been kind of like uh, sad, sad tweeting. There was the one where he's like, I almost cried. Did you guys see that one? Where, I'm trying to find that Damn, one. this is big. He almost cried. Yeah. He almost had a real human emotion for a second. Here. But he said that he didn't though, right? No, he, he, no, he did not. Okay, he thank God. Did. Oh, thank God. Can no! You, I mean, so embarrassing. Maybe? This, like, dollar store motivational shit from prison. I have small dick energy. Is so fucking stupid that people actually still are reading this. God, men are pathetic. I need to be their daddy. How do I daddy up for these boys? You know what I saw on the <laughs> freeway on my way to work today? Hmm. I saw a banner over the freeway. Um, it said hashtag free Andrew Tate. <laughs> right. I'm sure I'm sure that's gonna be a huge influence over the Romanian over the government. Romanian yeah. <laughs> judicial system. Right. I'm sure they'll see it. This banner in Los Angeles, California. Here he says he goes, This man actually tweeted this out. Lock yourself in your bathroom without your phone or laptop and try to sit for an hour. I'm at day forty three and counting. I almost cried today. Almost. Hey, wow. how about do that and then do imagine it. you've been human trafficked by Andrew Tate. That's the game. 300,000 likes almost. 23, yes. 24 million views for whatever the views are worth. I mean, yeah, that's nothing, but. Please bring me pizza. Poor Andrew Tate. He almost shed a tear. Are you getting out soon? Like I don't think so. Him. From his like temporary hold or whatever. They did another thirty days, so he's got sixty days. So he's got another two weeks. Is he still Muslim? Is that still a thing, or is he over that phase? I haven't really seen any mention of that. No, he is. He is. He's been. He tweets about Islam and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Because he's in prison now. He's got a. Yeah, he's. he's usually, people go in and get converted. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> brought it in there. He's he's an innovator. The man or I mean, the man really already thinks he's like a. What do you call it, an imam? A prophet, yeah. Is imam prophet? Uh, no, not imam. It, Lena, how would you explain imam? It's like it's a... Just a leader, right? Like a rabbi? Priest, right? Yeah, it's it's yeah, higher up than a sheikh. Mm -hmm. yeah, like a bishop like, or something. It's he, like a sheikh with, with riz. Hmm. So he a bishop. Thinks, yeah. Yeah. He's an imam. E mama. Oi mama. That's what they always say. <laughs> <laughs> they come into the mosque. Oi, Oi babe. mama. Oi. <laughs> the mommy's here. The e mommy's here. Mm -hmm. Gooch yeah, advises Andrew, moms. Andrew Tate is uh, sitting there crying by himself. So Not crying. I almost cried today. Almost cried today. I'm a bomb. Almost cried today. But real men don't cry. 
Guys, I found this great testosterone booster that make your balls gigantic. Search on Amazon, <laughs> Ethan's Ball Magic, for only $9.99. Get your balls looking like mine. It sounds kind of like Joe Rogan and me crossover. Yeah, I, uh... How'd I you make that? Too. Yeah. Why? I you said how. How? Oh, uh, it was uh, using uh, the 11 labs. Shout out to Ryan or Harvey. For doing it, right? Can Harvey, we, the go. Oh, he's yeah. How do we make it better? I think you that got is that. pretty good. I think it's decent. Well, it was definitely correct me from. I think that's very good. Probably I, almost as good as Ethan or the Joe Rogan one. There were I certain words that were really good. There were others that were, uh, yeah. I, I would have. I didn't think raised it, an eyebrow if I had heard this without any context. I didn't think it sounded like me at all. Oh, well, let me try again. Let me try again. You can never guys, identify. Guys, I your found own voice this. I mean, the way he says goofy. guys sounds like Joe Rogan, but then like yeah. as it goes on, it sounds more and more like you. The Add some rhythm music is on. on there, and uh, boom, you got an ad. Guys, I found this great testosterone booster that it's still much like this. Yeah, it's right up, way down here. here. From after the word booster and on, it starts to sound much more like you. It's like got a little bit of a Kermit thing with yeah. a Joe Ro or a Jordan Peterson. Maybe they fed it with the audio of the podcast, and you do the damn Jordan Peterson impression mm. so much. Yeah, it could be that it. Guys, I found this great testosterone booster that make your balls gigantic. Search on Amazon, Ethan's Ball Magic, for only $9.99. Get your balls looking like mine. It gets a little better in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's still, it, it's it, not needs, good. it needs some work, but it's not good. That is very, with a very low amount of uh, pr uh, training material, too. Yeah, I think that's the thing. You yeah. need to feed it a lot. I love the idea of just doing AI <laughs> ads of myself. For no fucking reason. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, it's Ethan Klein. Get your balls super big. Chicks love huge balls. People saying it sounds like the quartering. Okay, well let's not maybe say that again. Maybe because Jeremy himself kind of sounds like AI. Well, Ethan, the quartering uh, is a little talks. IQ inbred exactly. loser. <laughs> <laughs> AB, I gotta ask you something. Yeah. <laughs> This was pulled as a receipt last or like a couple weeks ago, and I've been meaning to ask you about it. Mm. One of the fans caught you in a pretty egre egregious lie. Why does it lie? So I'm gonna need you to clarify here. Okay, so sure. Let me, let me play this. <laughs> that makes me think of my grandma's funeral. Me and my cousins were all kicked out by my oh, dad. Oh, bro. My cut real fast. My cousin came in late, and he sits next to me. And in Islamic funerals, you sit up. The, all the men, and women, in the family sit up at front on each side. My cousin turns to me and say, "What did I miss?" Because he came in late. And I said, "Turns out she's not dead." <laughs> and then it just started. To <laughs> so in this recounting, you are a hilarious jokester who is so damn funny. You tore down the whole fucking funeral. Okay. Yeah. And Dan loves it. Everyone's like, damn, A.B.'s a pretty funny guy. Yeah, even Love was laughing. I saw Love laughing, too. So, so but then the second retelling <laughs> has a different twist to it. <laughs> <laughs> it started a chain reaction that got us all kicked out by my father because we were sitting in front and could not stop laughing. <laughs> I, have a, I have a quick story that relates. Go ahead. I was late for my grandma's funeral once, and I walked in late, and I asked my cousin, what did I miss? He said, uh, turns out she's not dead. And it made me laugh. It made me, it made me heavy. Wow, heavy topic okay. No, so, so. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. So which is it, A.B.? Are you the hilarious <laughs> jokester, or did you steal the valor? A few things. Of your cousin. A few things. Mm -hmm. Once I th one, for one, I think it kind of proves that it actually happened. Now, who said it? This is the second Literally question. Literally lying. Second thing is, I will say, I said it. I did lie the second time because the context, I didn't know I told the story. Immediately after I did, chat started saying it. I'm like, oh shit, I did tell the story. But I was trying to, it was right after the whole chestnut situation. And I was trying to lighten the mood, but also I don't want people saying, oh, A.B. always tries to make everything about himself. So instead of saying, I was so funny and hilarious, Easy, My bro. cousin told this story because this guy is again, a manipulative lying I, con. I am, I am being persecuted for trying to be the good guy. Jesus, bro, you Fuck. if that's really what happened, you gotta you what you're doing this gymnastics in your head. It's oh yeah, that's overthinking shit. Like, that's that's my that's my daily life. <laughs> Why are you thinking so much about it? It's crazy.
uh, I don't I don't know. I'm I think it's a mix of like uh, being anxious and also, you know, just my dad being an attorney. Like everything we did was being questioned. <laughs> And my cousins, who I grew up with, uh, always have an alibi. Yeah, always have. Even even if you're doing nothing wrong, have an alibi. Why Let does me, it lie? Yeah. So so it was you who said the funny joke. I I, I am fucking hilarious. Yeah. Because I heard in another version, it was actually your grandma sat up and said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like a weekend at. Burns. She said, "I'm not dead." Yeah. And then everybody laughed. Yeah. She was like, "Surprise, motherfucker!" <laughs> Jumped up. Surprise. All right. So A B is the. Funny, funny guy. Funny guy. Did you hear the explanation, Dan? Sorry, I was in the bathroom. Is he a Weasley little liar? Like he says, expected? he says he lied about it Literally on purpose. Literally lying. Uh-huh. He did tell the joke, and he lied about it because the chestnuts thing just happened, mm -hmm. and he didn't want to seem insensitive like me. So really, it's your fault. It was more of trying to <laughs> get the... Uh, he was trying, trying to, give to just you cover. say something for you. Yeah, trying to cover for you. That's a lawyer. See, he laid on a grenade for you, Ethan. I'm over this shit. Nobody here. You it. are trying to call him out. <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why the you fuck you lying? lying? Mm, oh, oh my god, god. good AB. Stop fucking lying. Whatever, bro. You just you tried to get a f janitor fired from. <laughs> Actually, I fucking got him fired. Check yourself. <laughs> Wrong. Oh, how dare you? Okay, I'm glad we got that sorted out. Thank you, A.B. Thank God. I was worried I was going to get fired. No, no, no. I saw this TikTok this morning. It's kind of in the alpha brain world. And I just thought, this is so... This really shows how dumb this shit is. Now, ice baths is like the hot new thing in the alpha world. Everybody's got to take an ice bath. Ice bath in the morning, ice bath in the afternoon. We need, we wake up, we break the ice, we get in the ice water. Everybody's doing it. I saw Russell Brand in an ice bath this morning. This, it's like everybody's in the fucking ice bath. That dude. He, that, what happened to him, huh? I mean, I think he was always a bit of a nut, but he's really no, but off the deep this, end. This dude would, did one goddamn episode with Joe Rogan, and now look at him. What happened, bro? This is you on Alpha Brain. He used to be funny. Now he's in an ice bath. <laughs> he was the lead singer for one of the greatest bands of all time, Infant Sorrow. Now he's taking fucking ice baths. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Heck, <laughs> we need someone to make a compilation of all your references. That uh, that's like your third movie, movie reference. Yeah. 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 So you got it. I, got I, it. I, I love. Got it. I love his song African Child. It's great. <laughs> Brush my teeth to that shit. He was huge though. He was like <laughs> a, the biggest act for a while. He was married to Katy Perry. Yeah, he was married to. He had it all. He was married to Katy Perry. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Was yeah, huge. yeah. So now he's in a fucking ice bath, taking Alpha Brain. So what's the deal with the ice bath? I did a little bit of research because part of me is like the skeptical part of me is like, there's no fucking way that this ice bath is that good for you. And what I found is that, like, for elite athletes who are doing, like, insane muscle training, it can lower the, um, what do you call it? The Inflammation? Uh, inflammation. Sure. A little bit. It's not really even proven. I mean, it, it makes, well, it intuitively makes sense, because, like, when your muscles are sore, you put an ice pack on it, like. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you keep the ice on it. Here you go in, if you stand for more than three minutes, you get hypothermia. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. They have some weird pseudoscience thing where you shock the body and then it's supposed to like give, I don't Constrict know. Constrict the blood vessels you know, and yada yada. Make the nipples bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Make your nipples Yo, huge. can we call Dr. Rock Id? Hard. Wait, I wonder if Dr. Ids can chime in on this. Well, he's a nutritionist. I guess He knows everything, knows. bro. He knows he more knows than everything. me. Everything. I mean, he's no more than me, shit. People said do an ice bath. That, but Ethan did an ice bath on I did. the show and he ate r raw meat. <laughs> did you guys forget? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I think ice baths can be useful in a very limited setting for extreme athletes. Not like, not like Derek in his backyard, because he now, wants to <laughs> prove something. It, you're somewhat in, insulting Love's culture here, because he mentioned before the show that um, it's, a, it's pretty popular in Sweden, right? Well, Sweden, but mo more importantly, or more, more in uh, Finland, but yeah, it's a little bit mm -hmm. of a thing here. Massive. 
But in, in Finland, it's every every night, I think, for a really? lot of people. Really? No shot. That's no, not crazy. Literally. But it's a, like it's a typical thing. Like you take an ice bath and then a sauna. That's like a classical Go fin, from the Finnish cold thing. To the hot, yeah. But sure. I've kind of feel like they just kind of stole it from us. We're doing it as like more of a social thing, and it is nice. It gives you a nice feeling when you take a dip and then go into the sauna directly. It's right. nice. Sure. There's no there's no major like weird bro signs behind it. It's just do it. It feels kind of nice. And then uh, going to the sauna and refreshing. Uh, sh- chill with the boys, you know. <laughs> a little bit of boys. a sauna with the boys. Come on. Chill now. nude with the yeah, boys. Yeah, I get that. That sauna. sounds fun, it's right? That's nice. nice. Yeah. Well, I saw this guy. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> you don't have to do this. <laughs> This guy, he's Jordan makes vids on TikTok. This is day 59 of his ice bath. And listen to what he says about it. Ugh. Morning, guys. It is day 59 of taking an ice bath every single day. And I got to be real with you. I feel like quitting. I don't want to do this today. I stood there staring out the window, procrastinating for the last 20 minutes, thinking about all the excuses that I had not to do this. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm tired. My kids are sick. I woke up with anxiety. And then I thought to myself, with all those things stacked against me, what if I could still pull this off? Dude, listen listen to all the reasons. This is ruining your life. Isn't it supposed to help you feel better? He's like, I can't sleep. I wake up anxious. I stare out the window in terror and dread. <laughs> just like forlorn, wait, thousand yard stare. Wait, it's it's not helping you. It's it's making your life worse. Stop doing it, man. <laughs> Look, I'm forty. I'm uh, tired. It's like, I'm sweaty. I'm like, fat. What I'm happened overweight. to the benefits? Isn't it supposed to make you feel good? It, it's not working for you, bro. <laughs> or just or just take the day off. <laughs> just skip. You know, it, it is okay. And then I thought I to myself. Think- but he goes, he goes, no, I thought to my ear. My kids are sick. His kids are sick from sitting in the ice. <laughs> I woke up with anxiety. And then I thought to myself, with all those things stacked against me, what if I could still pull this off? And so that's what I'm going to do. It's minus four degrees Celsius out here this morning. I mean, I didn't, but I know you can pull it off. You're just sitting in water. <laughs> like, theoretically, it's not that hard. It's quite easy, actually. Yeah. It's just unpleasant as it's. As you're clearly laying out here, to the extent that you're I continue just to torture myself, staring every morning. out the window, dreading. And just I woke up this morning. Dread. Oh God! I couldn't sleep. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I just think about the ice. <laughs> but I'm still going to do it because apparently it helps me in some way. Temperature: It's one degree Celsius. We're going to do three minutes in the ice bath. And no matter what's going on in my mind right now, it's still going to be a good day. <laughs> it's can call in, is, in 10 minutes. Can you stay true to what you said you were going to do long after the mood that you set it in is gone? Bro, it's a, so this is like part of this kind of it's okay to change your mind, bro. If you realize it's not helping you, or it's not a good idea. Like like I get the dedication is good and discipline is good, but it's okay to change your mind, dude. And I think it would it would be an easier sell if it was something other than ice. Like if he's talking about like he's dedicated to going on a mile jog every morning. Great. And he wakes up in the morning this one morning and is just like, God, I really don't want to do this. But you know what? I'm going to push forward. That's understandable, and you know, good for you. But with the ice bath, it's just out of I probably could skip a day. I, I mean, he might really as well be like that much. This morning, I didn't want to put bamboo shoots under my nails. <laughs> But I pledged I'd do it. <laughs> I said I would. For 60 days. The man is dedicated. He's wearing a Detroit Lions shirt and hat. That shows dedication because we suck. So. <laughs> and he's not even from Detroit, I don't think. Wow, this guy just hates yeah. his life. I laid down this morning on a bed in, or on the fucking draw and quartering machine. <laughs> I didn't want to get drawn and quartered this morning. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know what? Today I... I said I would. Today, this morning, I stepped into the Iron Maiden. <laughs> I knew it, I, it just motivates me, and I, I don't like it. I have angst. I have panic attacks all day. My skin is bleeding. I can't eat. My kids say I've changed. My wife is leaving me. But I'm dedicated. 
<laughs> and this is helping me somehow. See, motivation will get you started. My wife went but out for pizza without me. <laughs> you'll never finish. Stop making excuses. Get up and finish what you started. Bro, right. it's... You run out of things that he's repeating himself now. But, like, I don't want to go to sleep with fear. That's not motivational, bro. You don't have to make yourself miserable. You, 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 you are... You might as well just go live in Guantanamo Bay, bro, if you mm. think it's so dope. You know? Just go live on this. Just be homeless. I mean, if that's the... Uh, just go... What's the point here? Some days you just don't have it. But discipline doesn't this care how you feel. This is the saddest fucking video I've ever seen. No matter how you feel some days. <laughs> My life is falling apart. He really did not have much material to vamp for this long. He's just been in the <laughs> wheels here. He's having a rough day, Dan. It's a rough day. Do it anyway. I'm sitting in ice. <laughs> I'm sitting in ice. <laughs> I'm already sad. Now My I'm in ice and My sad. kids are dying. <laughs> My wife left me. Bro, get out of the me. ice. The ice is ruining your life. Can't you see it? Very sweet that he kept the hat on. He needs it because he, he, yeah, he does. His, no, his microphone is on there, even though it's pointed away from his oh. mouth. Oh, one of, one of these little bad. Okay. Want him to get like, cold. What is that hat doing? The audio is right actually now? pretty good quality. I'm he's got it. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. But he's a giant pussy because his head is warm. He dunks. He doesn't have the discipline. He takes it off and dunks at the end of the video. Okay, mm. good. You just got to remember. Pussy. This too shall pass. It, it, no. You did it to <laughs> yourself. <laughs> this too shall pass. You, <laughs> you didn't have to have to, something to pass. You're the one that got in the bath. It'll pass when you get out of the bath. You get out of the bath and then you, you don't go in it again. And then it's passed. What's passing? I don't understand. Come on, you fools. <laughs> All right, time's up. He just doesn't come back. Time's up. <laughs> he goes on like forever. A, I don't know. I I thought like, wow, these guys have gone too far. This video is sad as shit. <laughs> and it's it's not. so silly. I feel like it's like simulated struggle because they can't have like a very hard life outside of this. So they have to like force themselves to do these arbitrary weird ass things. Right. That's a good. I'm sure if they actually have a hard life, you're yeah. not gonna be like, oh, I gotta do a fucking ice bath right now before I. Work 12 hours at the fucking factory. No, he probably has an easy ass life. No, yeah. I guarantee you there's no like Indian struggle. street vendors who work 20 hours a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who exactly. going for the, uh, the ice bath dip after work. It's silly. <laughs> yeah. This guy is so motivational. That's the top comment. <laughs> he is the opposite of motivation to me. I think this guy is fucking looks so sad. And I do not want to be like this man, which is <laughs> I mean, sad. The, the underlying, you know, uh, the message of motivation again, like substitute in going on a jog for two months straight or whatever, or something a little bit more listen Dan. tangibly beneficial listen. than the ice bath. I didn't want to drink bleach this morning, but <laughs> I said I'm I dedicated would. to myself. All My organs are failing. I can feel it. If I drink another <laughs> sip, I might die. But I'm dead. This is what discipline is. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, Dan, with the jog every morning. I'm gonna make one of these videos. Well, that's fine, and that yeah. wouldn't that no, wouldn't no, yeah, yeah, that would fine. be motivational. That'd be great. I'd be happy for you. Thank you. Happy for you, bro. Or sorry. Today I'm gonna be eating ten Twinkies for breakfast. It's all about dedication. I haven't shit in ten days, <laughs> <laughs> but I made a goal, and I'm gonna stick to it. Yeah, it's great. The bro science world needs a reality check. These guys are so far gone. Yeah, I don't know. Today I stared at the sun for a minute. <laughs> it really hurt. Stop the sun from being hot. I can, I can feel my vision I can still see deteriorating. It Hours later, the big bright burning <laughs> ball. In <my> eyes. <laughs> I'm dedicated. God damn it. I woke up this morning, I could see the sun when my eyes closed, and I didn't want to wake up. I got panic attacks when I see the sun, but I still had to look at it. I didn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so Dr. Ids is going to call in, apparently. I want to get his take on the ice bath. 
I would say, I think it has limited benefits, you know, in, in mm-hmm. specific situations. That's my take on it. Yeah, well, he benefits knows what we're everybody. talking about. He, he'll be home soon, he said. Well, if he just comes in and owns us right now, mm-hmm. like, no, actually, the research says this is massively beneficial, mental <laughs> and physical health. This man will live forever. Yeah. 46, every ice bath you take adds a year onto your life. <laughs> Catch me tomorrow morning in the ice bath. Mm-hmm. I can set it up for all of us. That'd be let's do the whole show in ice bath. Fuck it. Ooh. Ice bath um, stream. So while we wait for our lovely uh, doctoral expert, let's talk about something quick and easy here. A uh, quickie. I don't know, quick and easy. What about the buckle fat removal trend? That's Let's, not quick. No? It's the, there's a whole freaking uh, PowerPoint slideshow. Taco. How about we talk about uh, Megan Fox and MGK? Los Tacos Let's talk Hermanos. Let's spill the tea. That's a quick one. Uh, Los Tacos Hermanos says, I'm, in, I'm from Norway. It's dark here all the time. Taking the ice bath wakes you up. That's all it does. Yeah, right. I could see it. It wake me up. Yeah, for sure. Cold water. Wake you up real quick. You know? There it is. Okay. Uh, that, this, I just can't believe it. I thought I, uh, love is not real. Megan Fox and MGK broke up. Devastating, right? This is so fucking devastating. Devastating. Megan posted a cryptic video that said, You can taste the dishonesty, it's all over your breath. Lyrics? Oh no, it's a Beyonce lyric. From she's, Lemonade. She switched sides. She's she's quoting Beyonce now. These two are they're they are mentally fourteen years old. Like yeah. it is like the the kind of emo like post vague post with song lyrics describing your feelings thing. But look at all these people enabling it. That's the problem. Megan Fox age. 36. I'm just happy. To be honest, like everything everything that she did, I was down with because it seems like he cheated on her. So whatever her response is, like drag him. Drag him. I'm down for it. I'm so sick of men. They're fucking disgusting. He sucks, I think. He cheated on her? Literally. Megan then posted selfies, one of which she's posing with another man, with Beyonce again. Uh Uh-oh. Same quote. What now, dude? Uh oh. Uh oh. You can taste the dishonesty. It's all over your breath. <clears throat> Although, Beyonce did forgive. Am I supposed to go down more? Oh. Beyonce did forgive. Who the fuck is that? It looks like he do- has camouflage. Also, I noticed. I don't think anyone else did. He's halfway cloaked. <laughs> Bottom right of that photo, there is a person. Well, who are you? Whoa. Where'd she come oh from? Oh my god, what is happening in this photo? It's like an AI generated But this, image. this looked right. like a public bathroom, not like a place where... I can't get over this dude. What? <laughs> it Why looks is he like touching her? He's turning on his cloaking field. It looks like <laughs> Madame Tussaud, like she's taking a picture with the wax figure. Yeah. For real. Wait, what is with his complexion? This is so weird. She found her lighting. <laughs> she sure did. She sure did. <laughs> we said, is that a hitman? <laughs> he's sneaking up on her. I know, it looks like he's about to stab her or something. <laughs> Who are you, bro? It looks photoshopped. <laughs> Who is what this? Did she tag him it? or something? Like, like, the fuck? <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> Holy shit, it's so funny. Fuck, did she just, did he just take this photo and she's like, that photo is the one I look best in. So I'm going to post it, no matter who the fuck else is in no it. No matter what else is going on <laughs> in the background. Dude. City of Phoenix. Uh, he's, just, he's just in some public restroom. City of Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, probably at the uh, Super Bowl. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. But she's still in a public restroom. True. Anyone here from Arizona? <laughs> yes, sir. Hell yeah. So do we know who he cheated on her with? No. Any speculation? This whole thing is speculation. 
to be honest. Well, well one of their reps I mean, announced at the here at the end. It said. I mean, it's speculation, but her implication is pretty clear, right? Yeah, the if, quote, the quote. That also, they the gave, Beyonce songs about. If it was anyone Jay's else, right, yes, if yes, it yes. was anyone else besides them, like Dan said, they're fourteen-year-olds trying to be edgy. Like I could see them doing the shit either for publicity or just temporary, like break. Mm. The songs about cheating. I'm on. He sucks. So I hope that this is them. Like I, I'm choosing to believe that it's it's Dom. Like her engagement ring. There was a lot of toxicity what was with that. It? Like he explained that he put thorns on the bottom so that it hurts her physically if she tries to take it off awesome that's love right there and okay. he said he was like love is pain <laughs> maybe love to you is pain love is pain what they about are like 14. taking it off Jesus at Christ. night is there a picture of her ring yeah i, I want to see that and what does your ring look like machine gun kelly how about you put a fucking detonator on your cocks that you can press if you ever cheat on her <laughs> I'm without a doubt pretty sure that guy is a Prince Albert. Like he seems the type of dude to get. Yeah, it. I could see that. I still love MGK. I love his music. You do. Yeah. Why? <sighs> I'm Why? guilty, dude. I'm guilty. You see, you do strike me as an MGK fan. I mean, you love dude, Creed. I do love Creed. I do love. Creed. Oh shit! Wait. Chad is saying he cheated with his guitarist. That girl's a fan. She's a fan, bro. I've connected with her. <laughs> we it, send her Teddy it, Fresh and shit. It. I don't think it's proven exactly. Yeah, it's just. It's just. It, yeah, it's speculation. I believe that there was a comment, or Megan responded to a comment saying, "Did, did um, MGK get with Sophie?" Is her name, and then I, Megan responded saying, uh, "How do you know I didn't get with Sophie?" How do you that know? Doesn't really mean anything. I didn't get with Sophie. Referring to Megan having relations with that. Sophie. That is. Yeah, I get it. Far but... from a. Com I don't. Hmm. They're so cringy. Because, like, she, like, I'm trying to decode that. <laughs> she doesn't oh. want to absolve her. What is this? What'd you owe at? This. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see this? We were there, dude. I forgot. Totally forgot. So, I guess I can't see the, I can't see the spikes on the bottom. The bands are actually thorns. So if she tries to take it off, it hurts. Love is pain. Grow up. Love is pain, Ethan. I thought you were just making that up. I didn't see the caption. Holy shit. No, yeah. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, well, I, okay. We don't know if, why do you guys think it was a good guitarist? The guitarist, because I, I don't want to put anything out there. She's a friend of the show, kind of. I think people might have said that because she <laughs> is a fan of the show. Maybe. Oh, you think they're just giving a nod? Because they know. We've talked about it before. Okay. Yeah, I I don't... We don't know. She shreds. She's super cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing guitars. She's awesome. Love. She's the best. Agreed. So great. She's so great. Would never do she that She should to be Megan. the lead. Would never do that to Megan. I think... I you think, know her too well. Hell no, she wouldn't do that. <laughs> I think she should be lead and... and, and and Machine Gun should take a fucking back seat. Oh, he can't play for fucking shit. <laughs> nice. She shreds a fucking amazing. Like, she's an so what excellent is, guitarist. What do you... Never mind, I don't want to get into it. What? Well, we will follow the story closely. What? But Dr. Iz is on the phone, so let's talk to this. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, is he not, Olivia? Well, he's, he's ready, okay. but he is not on the line yet. Well, uh, no minuto. the good news to uh, all the single men, I guess, is that Megan Fox is single? It's available. Wait, 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 Maybe. the best part of the story. What's the best part? The bottom. Before, okay, so, by the way, she deleted all their po photos together. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty, like... That was the first, like, people were like, huh, what's happening? And then came... <clears throat> Before deleting her entire Instagram account altogether, Megan followed three people, Eminem, Harry Styles, and Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> and she followed zero people before. That is... They're so embarrassing. I think it rocks. <laughs> Just be an adult. I know, but it's like, dude, stop it.
so embarrassing. Very. So she, she's going to be 40 soon, and all this silly fucking ring with thorns and all this emo shit is not going to be cute. It's going to be sad. Yeah. I think that <laughs> when she started dating him, she kind of adopted the cringe that was him. 100%. So she, I'm going to let her shed this, and I'm going to let her do whatever, and hopefully a year from now, the cringe is only with him. 100% right. She's yeah. on cringe. Because she was always so cool before this. No one really, like, didn't like her. Can I ask you, is Eminem still cool with this fucking avatar? I mean, no, but it's cool, <laughs> I think, that she followed him just because they have such a oh public God. beef. He's such a fucking dweeb. He used to be old. Whoa, whoa, he's whoa, so whoa. He's so old. He's old. He's old, guys. He's give him, so old. Give him a break. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just sucks now. to see, because he, he's, people say he's the greatest rapper ever, right? And, and they're, well, they're, he was. Who says that? No, a lot of people say <laughs> that. No, a lot of people say that. Right. Yeah, top five. Yeah, top five. Greatest rapper. But you know, it's huh? like when you get old, you sometimes just fucking lose it, man. So. He's fifty. He's old. Greatest rapper of all it. time: Eminem, Macklemore, Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly. Shut up. It's okay, not like hold that. on. You when can't I was even in the third grade. No, stop, Dan. Don't be like that. <laughs> other rappers. Macklemore. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of other the, rappers have the given dude that from title. Smash Mouth. I mean, that verse on All Star. Did you don't Ooh. stop coming? Did you yeah. don't stop coming? Hit the ground down and hit the ground running. That's true. He that he is a good rapper. <laughs> um, well, so she is she thinking? Do you do you suppose her following those three people is her saying she's interested in them romantically? I don't. I mean, who knows if she'll pursue it? But I think that that's the message she was sending. Is like I have I have plots now. I have options. Well, following Eminem is definitely why Eminem because, because they had the that public beef. Oh, the beef. beef. Yeah. Oh, she sh and is Eminem like, married? So, uh, let me check. I was looking at their age. You know, Timothy is not. I think he's dateable at twenty-seven. For her, she's what thirty-six. You said that's not that bad. Yeah, Eminem is not married. I'd let it. I'd let it go. Nine years. He's old enough. Harry Styles is twenty-nine. Yo, hate to tell you all you style heads, but this dude's getting old. All the style heads. This man's about to be 30. You're going to have to find a new crush. I feel, is he getting, I feel like his fans are growing too. So maybe that's... The power grows every day. Yeah. No, at the age of his fans. They're getting older, you think? Yeah. Bro, he, he could be any age. He, he sold out the fucking forum like a month in a row. Like, it's, every night. It was insane. Yeah, they're definitely... His fans are growing up with him. Like, they'll... I think that the fans who loved him since One Direction, who followed him when he started his solo career, they're still there. Update to the story. According to People Magazine, they haven't officially called off the engagement, but Megan took her ring off. How? That must have hurt. Yeah. <laughs> How'd she do it? I love his pain. My took it off with a... Uh, with a bandsaw. They have had issues in the shit. past, but things seem pretty serious this time. Oh, brother. Rory asked, have you guys seen the video of MGK saying that he's attracted to Kendall Jenner when she was 17 he was 23? It's awesome. Yes, we have. Pull it up since we're waiting for We Dr. have. Heads. Dude, that video is oh, crazy. <laughs> he is so crazy. He goes, yeah, she's 17, so what? Rock stars fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> Rock stars have a long, illustrious history of fucking kids. He literally said that. Yeah, I love that video. I'll pull it up for you. He was 23 or something in this video, I think. According to that comment, yes. Counting down the days until she's 18? I'm not waiting until she's 18. I'll go now. I'm 23, dog. Like... I'm What's what can we find one without like some weird why the fuck? Oh, it always play... does. I think it might actually be burned into the interview. What? Yeah, I, I remember some some sweet country twang. Yeah, I wanna fuck a kid. Oh. Uh real quick, this is important. Uh, a message from uh Ela <laughs> just came through. Yeah, oh, I not see from that. Hila. Teddy, she said from Teddy. Ten dollars. Thank you, Ted. Sweet boy. There it is. Love that. He loves playing with phones now and he loves taking pictures. It's the funniest thing, doing <laughs> videos. 
And uh, he sends me messages like this, so it's very sweet. Hi, very Teddy. Nice. Love you. I'll be home soon. We can. I can confirm that that music is in the original version. That's what I re- remembered. Well, here, here it is. Who's your first celebrity crush? Oh, see, they, they thought this would be cute. But then he's like, nah, I want to fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, who's your first crush? <laughs> you know what? It must, be in, it must be something with the Kelly family. R. Kelly, MGK. Mm, what's going on with yeah. these Kellys? Mm. The Kelly brothers. What's I don't care what my first celebrity crush was, because right now it's Kendall Jenner. <laughs> Damn it, I've said that so many mother times. I hope that... Yo, tell me what this is! That. Don't let me move to L.A. <laughs> Dude, the music is that so is fucking terrible. He's like, man, don't let me near LA because I will hunt her, that child down. <laughs> so inspirational. I will take her Oof. across state lines. Lock Yo. her up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Put her in the webcam service. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, money did good for him, man. He looked like a... F- he was... 16 is the age of consent. I think he must have done a lot of work because he... Yeah, he did a Both hair the, transplant. Did hair? He did. He must have done his teeth too. Any mother times. I- like, uh, I think he must have. Uh, he also Probably. fixed this weird thing with the. He has metal in his mouth. I don't know what that is. Got funny joke there, huh? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I hope <clears> that <throat> you're snagging that. Don't let me move to L.A. Oof, oof. Are I'm fine in her. You counting down the days until she's 18. I'm not waiting until she- First of all, that question on face should never be asked. I think he's- I think they're trying to give him an out. He's like, yo, don't let me near her school. <laughs> don't let me near her, boy. It's not that bad. I'll find her somewhere, boy. So are you counting down the days till she turns 18? Fuck. She's 18? I'll go now. I'm 23, dog. Like- I'm not like a creepy age, like you know what I'm saying. I'm 23, bro. She's 17, and she. I mean, like, it's not a whatever you're saying is very creepy. 23, fuck you. Know, you know what I mean? Oh, dude, I'm not a creepy age. I just want to find her. I want to look in her window, stalk her, learn her, learn her <laughs> pattern, her behavior. People need to keep. I would away from. Um, her. like to retract my statement about MGK. <clears throat> You knew all this, Zach. Mm, right. And re- right. and more importantly, you've heard his music, so that's <coughs> that's even worse. This is, this is fucked. I so, what did he do? What work did he do? I mean, he did his hair, for sure. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just I that. I feel like it might just be that. He just changed his look a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a tiny bit, but... Um, Dr. Ids now is in the waiting room, if Woo! you would like to uh, return like to a celebrity, that. Like, there, Bring him up. No, Bring him up. There is no limits right there. Robert Plant, here. who is one of the greatest lead singers ever, for all y'all don't know, he's son for Led Zeppelin, dated a girl that was 14. Axl Rose, who was one of the biggest badasses ever, dated a girl that was 16 and wrote a song on his first album about the girl that was 16. Mm-hmm. I've studied this. Yeah, I literally. Know. Believe me, I know. Trust me. Jesus. He's seen the science. I right. want it. I, I, my only regret is that Kendall's not 14. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, cleanse the palate for a second of the underage talk before we bring in Dr. Id. Wait, wait. What is this one? I, I know I've seen this. Okay, so I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter. I have to say she's hot as fuck in the most respectful way possible because M is king. Wasn't his daughter... Wait, what's the backstory? I believe here? the daughter was like 13 when he took her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. Yep. What? <laughs> 16. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. I mean... 16 and 22. 16. They were actually 16. Fuck me. <laughs> thank, yes, thank you. Thank you for correcting that. Holy shit. All right, I'm bringing in Dr. Ids. Let's not greet him with a bunch of pedo talk. Go ahead. Here we go. Bring him in. Okay. Uh, doctor, are you there? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Doctor welcome, is always welcome. there, Dan. I'm always here, I'm always here. Dr. Ids, thank you for joining us as always. Um, my pleasure, my pleasure, thanks for reaching out. The question <clears throat> today is ice baths. It's popular in the bro science world. Ice baths, every day, all the time. We watched a video of a guy 
he was like, this is my 49th day of doing an ice bath. I'm miserable. I hate it. I have anxiety. I, ca I can't sleep. I procrastinate looking out the window because I dread going in there so much, but I'm doing it because I'm dedicated. Um, is there benefits to doing these ice baths to that level that you know of? Right. So, yeah, this is. there's lots of avenues to this one question because, first of all, the context in which they are doing it. So this gentleman you're talking about, is he doing it as like a one thing in the morning? Is it for one minute? Is it for less? Is it for 10 minutes? He does it for three yeah. minutes every morning. Okay. And he the water's like one or two degrees Celsius. And he showed it was actually, it was negative four outside where he was doing, he was in Canada and it was mm. below zero Fahrenheit. Um, the water was one or two degrees Celsius. So right. Very, very, very cold. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Yeah, so this is part of the field of cold immersion therapy or like cold water immersion therapy. Um, and there's actually been some decent data on it for, I think the strongest evidence for it is going to be surrounding post-exercise muscle recovery, mm -hmm. right? So I know that there's a recent um, analysis in twin, last year that compared lots of different types of kind of active recovery. So things like massaging, foam rolling, you know, like a light bicycle ride kind of after your exercise session. And they found that the cold water immersion, it might not have been as cold as what you, what you guys are talking about, but um, a few minutes of that within an hour or two after your exercise session does seem to improve the rate at which you recover from exercise. Um, mm. but in terms of, in terms of, so there's, there's differences in the, in the science. So you've got things like cold shower, like cold showers, right? Where they're not as cold as like an ice bath. There's some emerging evidence showing that people who suffer with anxiety, um, they can have a reduction in their heart rate or their symptoms of anxiety. And actually one actually very interesting study I saw, I think a few months ago, was people who had cold showers compared to the other group that didn't have the cold, they had normal temperature showers, they reduced the amount of days that they called in sick to work. And that was a randomized control trial. Hmm. Um, so there are lots of emerging, interesting kind of health outcomes and cold water immersion uh, fields of health that we're going into now. However, the evidence for any one of them isn't particularly convincing. There, there are sporadic uh, kind of, you know, sporadic uh, pieces of evidence that we have to try and make a hypothesis by like accumulating them all together because they use different exposures. They use different types of cold water immersion. A cold shower is different to an ice bath. An ice bath is different to hydrotherapy. You know, they're all kind of different in a sense. So it wouldn't really be wise to make a generalized statement to say, oh, you know, an ice bath in the morning for three minutes is going to be good for your anxiety when there's only been pieces of data to support that. Um, so, yeah, it is quite interesting. Well, there it is. <clears throat> um, it seems that we are getting a timid rating of potentially interesting. Yeah, I would say definitely as in the next five, 10 years, we'll see a lot more evidence on it. However, it should be stated that in some people who do suffer with anxiety or depression, I know that there were some reports of it actually increasing uh, heart rate, increasing blood pressure in some people. Um, and in some people who might be a bit sensitive to it, it can actually increase stress and increase well, this, cortisol levels. This guy was... He was stressed out because of the ice bath. Oh. He's like, I don't want to do it. I'm having existential dread, but I'm going to do it. keep doing it every morning. So, but, so why was he doing it in the first place? That's a good That's a question. very good question. Because I, 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 it's a vibe. It's cool. No, I think he, he thinks it is beneficial. Uh, yeah. And it was more like the, the point of the video, I guess you could say, was that it, it, was a, it was motivational. It was like... 
if you yeah. dedicate yourself to something, you should do it even if you don't want to kind of thing. And I guess he had set out to do this for 60 days in a row. Let's show him. It's short. I'll show you the video. The, right, yeah. The yeah. part of it is like 15 seconds. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what do you see in these days? Uh, what's, what's rubbing your tits these days on TikTok? Oh, there's, what isn't? I just, yeah. uh, today I've just responded to someone who said that the modern kind of agricultural practices are decreasing nutrients in our fruits and veggies by quite a lot. And she made the claim that uh, in order to get the same amount of iron from an apple today, you would have to eat, uh, no, you would have to, to get the same amount of iron in an apple from 1914, you'd have to eat 25 apples today. <laughs> so, That's not true. And I was, uh, I was like, sorry, number one, where does that come from? Number two, apples are not a source of iron anyway. It contains like 1% <laughs> of your of your daily intake of iron. Who the hell's eating apples for iron? Like, it makes no sense, right? Mm. And uh, and then when I called her out on it, she like tried to claim that I was, you know, inciting. I was harassing her or bullying her or whatever. Oh, yeah. I just said, I just <laughs> said, show me. I just said, show me the evidence. And she cites me a National Geographic article. I was like, great. Okay. I love that yeah, they sucks. say they putting out like this junk science. And then when you try to correct them, it's harassing and bullying. It's like grow a pair. Dude. Right. You're entering like, the public uh, discourse. You have ideas. Yes. Let's, let's, let's challenge them. And I like to think that I remain relatively respectful. I yeah. don't insult anybody. I don't call anyone names. Right. And you apparently that to I'm, me. Yeah, yeah, like Ethan, you know, you can do that for me. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Carnivore MD is a fucking loser, freak. Bro, honestly, you know, he made me call him twice on Zoom prior to our debate. Yeah. I said, what's the point of us calling if you're just going to make us talk beforehand? He goes, oh, I just want to understand your position a bit more, right? So... I spend half an hour digging into his st his terrible studies he shows me, right? And I do that twice. I spend an hour of my own time talking to him prior to debating on your platform. And then the day before he goes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, let's leave it. Yeah, he, he, was was like, pro <laughs> he wanted to see how embarrassed he was going to get. Yeah. <clears throat> what an uh, idiot, dude. And then I started telling my audience, like, look, just because he knows he probably wouldn't have a chance so he wanted to use those calls to see if I had any good arguments. And the level of evidence he showed me was absolutely atrocious. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised in the end, really. I'm not surprised. Can I ask you a question? Uh, what are your thoughts on, um, uh, what, it, hold on one sec. I got to recall the name of this. What are your thoughts on this, uh, Uh, what is it called? God damn it. Here it is. Vinyl chloride. Uh, do we like breathing vinyl chloride? How do we like that? Do we drink it or do we avoid what, it? I do, what is that? <laughs> I don't know, know what There it was is. a massive... Oh, you don't know what vinyl chloride is? No. Okay, so that's fine. It's just a joke, sorry. There was a huge catastrophe in Ohio where it leaked a bunch. It's apparently super toxic. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. But he, here's the video. So... I'll just show it to you. It's only like 20 seconds. Go on. Morning, guys. It is day 59. I've taken a nice bath every single day. And I gotta be real with you. I feel like quitting. I don't wanna do this today. I stood there staring out the window, procrastinating for the last 20 minutes, thinking about all the excuses that I had not to do this. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm tired. My kids are sick. I woke up with anxiety. And then I thought to myself, with all those things stacked against me, what if I could still pull this off? And so that's what I'm going to do. It's minus four degrees Celsius out here this morning. Water temperature is one degree Celsius. We're going to do three minutes in the ice bath. No matter what's going on in my mind right now, it's still going to be a good day. That's it. You know, he gets in, he does the ice bath thing. But my Okay, that's, that's, that's very interesting because I think this, this highlights that um, we need to be very reflective and kind of conscious of to the effects of these things on ourselves individually right so 
even though there may be some benefits in some people, some people may, you know, train their vagus nerve to activate the parasympathetic system so it calms them down, it chills them out, right? People who have lots of like daily stressors who are very stressed in their daily life, that's fine. Those people might find benefit. However, if you're finding that actually you're dreading going <laughs> to do it and you're you're kind of you're generating your own anxiety and stress you know going to do it every day and you're not finding benefits in your quality of life then like you know why are you carrying on that was my reaction you're right you know? i think i think it's good to do it's good to like do a habit that you're not very comfortable with to start if you know that there are proven benefits right so like a common one would be something like increasing the amount of fiber through fruits and vegetables in your diet right some people initially might get you know high levels of gas or bloating or maybe you know their bowel movements might be odd like to begin with what do you but, mean odd so people that aren't used to having high fibrous foods their gut can take a disliking to it initially so they might get a bit of diarrhea a bit of constipation they might get a bit of bloating. Their belly might goes out yeah. a little bit. I just wanted to but, hear you describe like the different kinds of poops you might have. Yeah, okay. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are lots of different poops. There's like uh, in hospital, we have a stool chart for different patients. Mm. And um, we we label them type one, type two, type three, type <laughs> four poo. And it's like... Oh, there's we four have, different... Like, there's four main th categories. There's like six. There's like six. Okay, oh, what are they? Um, Do you know off the top uh, of your head? Well, it basically it you so you got rabbit drops so like if it looks like rabbit droplings that's yeah. like one like really hard like really like bitty like pebbles yep, right yep um then you've got like the other end which is like complete slosh like liquid slosh <laughs> yeah yeah like imagine just like a just like a diet coke oh, you crying. know what doctor is <laughs> i had a um i had a uh I was on antibiotics and then I got this really crazy thing. My yeah. <laughs> Did I ever show this to you my pesto shits? No. Can we show him a picture? Do you mind does looking he, at it? Does he want was to it, see that? Was it was it green or red pesto? Dude, it was, it was green. green. It was, it was like, like neon. neon green, dude. All oh, glow in the dark. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It was uh, uh Does anyone have that access to that? The pesto I mean, it's on bit. your Twitter, right? They could go find it. <laughs> it's on he Twitter. Post, he posted it on Well, Twitter. we were talking about it so much that I, I decided I'm just going to put it up there for anyone that wants to see. And but, that was um, after an antibiotics? Yeah, after antibiotics. Here it is. Oh, God. Are you ready, doctor? Wait, can we show it on screen? No, don't... Right, so well, the but only just way switch for him off, to, right? We can't because we have to switch to him for a here. I, I have a way to do it. Um, just Ian will just stay on you, and I will uh, swap what's being sent to Doctor. All right, tell me when you're ready, uh, Dan. Yeah, one second. Um, <laughs> I must shut it to everybody. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> here. Crap. All right, so now in a moment he should see your screen. Okay, yeah, he's seeing your screen now. So all right, you, so here it is, Doctor. Yeah. Is get ready. Yep. I was doing oh, wow. a stool sample. That's what it looked like. Wow. That's like other world. You ever right? seen anything like that? That's like it looks like a planet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> nasty. God, I can't even look at it. it. Makes me sick. Yeah, that was coming out of me. It's crazy. I never I never knew it could be green like that. And it's like so, vibrant green. Here, let me see. Yeah, let me yeah. See. That's like um Actually, post anti antibiotic diarrhea is quite common, actually. Really, um, that color? No, no, not that color, but <laughs> just, <laughs> but just, just the concept of having distorted bowel movements for a while is 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 pretty common. Um, what antibiotics were they? Just by curiosity. Gosh, I don't even remember. It was a while ago now. What was like it that I was taking them for? I don't even remember. What were they for? Like, what was the illness? That's what I'm trying to remember. C diff. C diff? Oh, was it? No, they thought I had might have C diff. Oh, I thought that I thought that's what you had. No, they were saying you were just really ill, right? And like you went to the hospital and yeah, but it was after I had been on antibiotics for like a week. What, but that's what I mean. You were just you were really ill, so you got on antibiotics, and then it made it made you worse. 
I don't remember what my illness was though. But anyway, was it well, ill with, ill with the poops or something else? No, well, it wasn't poop related at all. Mm. I know, remember okay. that. A little bit of like a guacamole there with maybe like human fecal ugh, garlic. Ugh. You ever you think about maybe taking a tortilla chip to that? Stop. I think it's like it, it looks like egg drop soup in my opinion. Stop. <laughs> right, I see that. I see God. that. Well, except green. Right. I'm surprised surprised there's no sweet corn in there. <laughs> there's no what? <laughs> sweet corn. There's no sweet oh, corn. Sweet corn? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Yummy. Terrific. Well, Jericho. there it is. Okay, so so um that is very green. So there it is. Dr. Is, you heard it here. <laughs> um, have you ever seen a shit like that in your career? Um, I've seen some pretty bad ones with blood and like clots Ooh, of okay. mucus and stuff in it. That's weird. Uh, especially yeah. after bowel surgery. Alfredo, where are you going? Don't go back there. Uh, yeah, that's uh, but, uh, that sounds bad. But, but, the, but, the but green. that color, yeah. yeah, that color, I've not seen. There it is. I've so not seen that. It's I've a medical. Uh, in, it's a medical mystery. You are. You're very special. So Your bowels are very special. I'm glad to show you something new for the first yeah. time, Doctor. No, that was that was insightful. Yeah. All that. right. Well, thank you for the input there, uh, <laughs> Doctor Ids. I appreciate you calling in as always. The one thing, just one thing, I will say, I forgot to mention about cold baths, is that. I would not recommend it at all for anyone who's got pre-existing cardiovascular disease, heart disease, mm. um, anyone that's had a prior history of stroke or they're on the risk for stroke because when you immerse your body in extremely cold water, your body responds by vasoconstricting your vessels, right? So it narrows your vessels. Right. Meaning, so if you've already got if you've already got narrowed blood flow because you've got plaque and your arteries are a bit narrow, right? You've got you've had strokes or previous uh, occlusions in your vessels. Then, by further constricting it, you could cause something called ischemia, which is a lack of oxygen and nutrient supply to your tissues. So you might make the problem even worse. Well, don't worry, Dr. Idge. Joe Rogan's heart is perfectly healthy and definitely not enlarged. <laughs> From years of human growth hormone. Yeah, he's, he's good. Uh, you don't worry, Dr. Idge. After 20 years of eating only elk meat and egg yolk and taking human growth hormone, I'm sure his heart is in perfect condition. I'm such a sucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I, hope, I hope most of his audience have sense enough to not follow. They don't. Probably, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I can still hope. I, I hope your audience has enough sense, actually. Oh, nobody here's taking ice baths. I guarantee that. <laughs> We're not the type of people, Dr. Ids. Good. I'm glad. All right. Oh, listen, uh, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Thank you Give very much. Thank you very much. The good doctor. Appreciate you. And I appreciate you always always uh, able to get on a call with us. Uh, you're the man. Dr. Ids, ladies and gentlemen. TikTok Marvel. TikTok legend. Obama. Legendary doctor researcher. Thank you, my friend. Take Extraordinaire. care. Extraordinaire. Are you still single, doctor? There's lots of inquiries in chat. I am. I okay. am. Okay. Hopefully sometime this year, within the next 12 months, I do want to settle down. Okay. okay, we a, a doctor's looking to settle down, girls. The same. <laughs> uh oh. When you mention you're a doctor, do the faces light up of the women uh, in general when you speak to them? Uh, usually, they know that I'm a doctor before they know me. So right. your reputation precedes you. <laughs> like I, I don't ever just walk around going, "Hi." If you didn't know, I'm a doctor. Right. You don't find um, yourself in situations like at a bar, having a pint. Oh, you you don't drink, do you? I don't drink. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah, drink. Yeah, so there that is. So, yeah. I mean, Shame. I do you like to get up there. Make... You got to swing that around a little bit. Yeah. The doctor title. What do you guys think of saying? Not not his dick. Well, if you guys can get if you guys can get me a wife, that that'll be that'll be all right. Okay. Okay. We can definitely yeah. work on that. We can make anything <laughs> right on that. All right, doctor. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a good Take one. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. This man's a doctor. He's not even out there swinging it around. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Dr. Me Riz. Megan Fox just became available. So true. Same. Uh, someone should tell him. Just saying. It's a big step up. MGK. All right. Let's see. We got, we covered a lot. The UFO sightings. We didn't, I guess we can do that on Wednesday. There'll probably be more by then.
Uh, there will be. <laughs> there will be. Yeah. yeah, I think we can wrap it up. As long as that train is burning, there's going to be more you folks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good point. Yeehaw! Out here in my <laughs> vinyl chloride. Oh. Can I lock me a cocktail with extra vinyl chloride? We need. To, you need to. You need to figure out and work on a Midwestern accent, because people What's from a Midwestern o- accent. People, it's like the Oshkosh Gosh, like know, Chicago. You know my Chica- good friend. Oh, yeah, there you go from Chicago, John that's Wayne. Not Gieth. funny at all. Yeah, that's, that's I how like, I talk. You, I like that's not fun, Zach. What? Prove him wrong. What? You just said friend, it's not funny. The accent. I love his Chicago funny. accent. It's funny. It's from Chicago. You know my good friend John Wayne Gacy cleaned yeah, pools. So my fr- my fr- my buddy over oh. here. Nope. See, see that's it doesn't too work. like Joe Pesci. You got him think more Chicago. 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 Yeah. Here is the beautiful East Palestine. <laughs> East Palestine. Um, thank you for talking about us. Oh, you thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank We're going to, I hope you're safe. I, yeah. I, I, if there's any way we can help, which I want to. Yeah, please. This is it. insane. This is insane. It looks like stranger things. Yeah. For right. real. It's like the mind flare. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you there, Demi Gorgon comes after me. It ain't going to be pretty <laughs> for him. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about bananas. <laughs> Zach. Let me tell you about Chicago. See, that, that's full Joe Pesci right there. I said work on it. You know, I, I, there's no expectation that you'll nail it right I'll away. But I'm just you saying, what, you, you, like, you're, you're, you're. As uh, long as the barbecue spot open, we ain't got no problem. Right. Bro. You're, you're Louisiana like kind of yeah. Mississippi guy. I heard all the cows are dropping dead. That's good. I mean, the price of. Of bovine be going down. I'm hitting up the barbecue on discount, boy. Mm-hmm. That'll drive up the price if they're all dying. Well, well there's lots of meat available all the time. Oh, you're gonna you, eat the, the oh, poly yeah. urethane. Oh yeah, boy. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say cows? hit up hit up the bovine? That's right. Like That's bovine right. creatures. That's a cow, Zach. A bovine's a, a cow. bovine is a cow. Yes. Oh, it was news to huh? me. Oh. What did you think it was? <laughs> isn't a bovine like what? Isn't that like a um? No, I'm thinking of a kangaroo. A kangaroo is a, a marsupio. Yes. Never mind. Yes. It's a marsupio. Not, it doesn't even sound similar. Completely unrelated. Yeah, totally unrelated. Bovine. Yeah, that'd be a cow. Bo- a bovine Bo- creature. Bovine. 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 Like, have more wine with your bovine. Uh, <laughs> herb? Beautiful. <laughs> Caretta. Anyways. Way to bring it back. Come yeah. on. Would now be a good time to launch a come to beautiful East Palestine kind of like travel... Come to beautiful, you know, you see the those timing does not seem good. Yeah. No. Come to beautiful East Palestine. Very affordable. Beautiful, cloudy skies. It's always a little overcast in East <laughs> Palestine. Oh. Stay for a cheap, cheap price over here $20 a night. Mm hmm. You need gas masks? We got them. That's right. Acid rain. The gas masks are going quick, though. We don't have many left, so hurry up. Have you ever been washed clean from rain? And not water, like bleach and your skin sizzles. That kind of wash clean. Your skin sizzles when it hits you. Come on down to East Palestine, Ohio. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you remember, um, as a kid, being told about acid rain in elementary school all the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Acid I they, rain. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, uh, I think they addressed that for the most part, although apparently, it, it's back, baby. Acid rain is back. I think it's real, but it does, it happens in like, it ha- only happens in like China or India where the, it's like so fucking polluted where it's like, you can't even see. Well, right. I, I think it was a real problem, but they, um, the regulations worked in that regard and and reduced it significantly. It kind of like the the ozone layer stuff. Well, if you ever wanted to see acid rain, come on down to East Palestine, Ohio. Make sure you get a special umbrella made of steel, as vinyl cloth will be burned through immediately. But we get those for you right at the bus stop. Mm-hmm. Eastern. Palestine, have you ever drank orange water? Well, come on down. 
got a nice little flavor. Minerally. Is it like tang? What? Orange water. Is it kind of like tang? It, t it tastes like tang. That's right. Like tropical flavor? Who doesn't love tang? It tastes like beef jerky. Does it sell tang? I probably It's hard there. to find, but yeah, they do. It, okay. Yeah. Martin, the water uh, sommelier, had this to say about our orange water. All right, he's passed out. He's dead. No comment from Martin. Carrot water? Carrot water? Carrot? Joe Biden <laughs> need to come breathe some of these fumes. All right, whatever. Sorry to them. We're going to follow it, though. I'm, I'm going to help how I can. Shout out to Ohio. I don't know. Shout out to Ohio. Shout out. We will continue the fight for Palestine, Ohio. I just want people to go to jail, <laughs> and I want people to be held accountable, yeah. and I want Joe Biden to go there and breathe that shit and have a fucking vinyl chloride ice cone. Come on, man. Ice cream with extra vinyl sprinkled on it. The kids used to come up and reach into the pool. <laughs> He's saying so confidently. It's so so much purpose. That was one of his favorite stories. He would retell it on the campaign trail. The kids were reaching to the pool, <laughs> pull on my hairy legs. I learned about kids jumping on my lap, and they jump on my lap, and the the I vinyl chloride raining you. from the sky. I would say that 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 that. that, that. <laughs> All right, listen. I gotta go. We'll Thank you guys canceled. for watching. It's been a pleasure. It's been a joy. It's been a thrill. It's been Monday. Some people hate Monday, not me. I get to come in and spend it with this lovely crew and this beautiful audience we love. <laughs> Thank you. Members, feast tomorrow. Because it's see you next Tuesday. And I will see you all on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. All right. Take care.